Yeah. Uh. Can I vent? We didn't close all the back doors. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, can I vent? Who that peeping through my window? Look. Hey, can I vent? I'm trying to fill up my briefcase. Yeah. Uh. Can I vent? They selling souls for the clickbait. What's good? What's good? Welcome to another episode of Can I Vent? We are back. It's uh, episode 105. 105. Yep. Man, we just, it's almost time for season two because we're tired we of counting. We just need to do it. Okay. That's it. Okay. <laughs> today looks a little different. We got a full house once again. Kind of switched up some things today. So I'm going to do a quick introduction from the left all the way to the right. I'm going to start with Miss April. This is um, a woman that really don't need much. There's no words to really describe April's fierceness and attitude, baby. She going to give it to you. She going to serve. She's an independent woman, a CEO, a boss, a huge dance company, one of the biggest teams in Dallas, a huge following, um, and very stern on her beliefs, very vocal, but believes in love, and I love it. Welcome to the show. Thank welcome, you. Welcome, welcome. We got <laughs> Mr. OK, so boom. <laughs> He's not going back and forth with you. Uh, Joe T. Beck, I've been knowing Joe for a minute, a couple years now. We was going to do a podcast originally, and we never really just got it all the way off the ground. Um, but Joe T., I've been watching him forever. He has an amazing story, um, that amazing book, a new movie on Tubi. Mm. Just, I mean, just going ham, going oh, crazy, Lord, but very opinionated. And will give you some very controversial thoughts. Um, he's even started this morning with some. So, welcome <laughs> to the show, Joe. Welcome to the show. Welcome to Of course, I got my father, my bestie. My right. other host, right. Dub. What's happening? I'm gonna yeah. see you twice today. We work. We've been working today. We got up at four o'clock this morning to go to the radio. I'm tired. Station. I want to go to sleep. Yeah, I, mean, I, I, I did. I'm I went tired. to sleep four hours. I, I got to sleep. I went from one job to the other, and now I'm back at this one. It's the grind don't stop. You yeah. feel all right? Yeah, yeah. Well, welcome back. I appreciate week. it. Appreciate it, sis. Appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> and to my far, to my right, I have, of course, from the boot, mm. a father, dope ass rapper. Dope ass fitness guy, dope ass overall person, one of my good friends that has a firm belief and stance <laughs> on still traditional relationships, but he don't he gonna pop his shit too. Mr. Sure. Louisiana Cash. I'm from Louisiana. Bitch, I'm from Louisiana. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanna be from Louisiana so bad. Right. All right, let's That's move on. Song, right? <laughs> and of course, finally, to my right, this is her second appearance on the show. Of course, Cash been here too before. But Lily, my girl, she's a fitness guru. Body by Lee, been on own network for Ready to Love. Now a author of a dating self love book. Um, super super sweet, super stern on her beliefs, super traditional. AKA a badass mm -hmm. boss cast baby. Thank you, Miss Lily. Oh, <laughs> now we don't got that off before you already know the next episode. We gotta we go into the we gotta vent in. You haven't been we in before. We can't in. really talk until you vent in and promise to tell the truth. Lily, you got some water, or you ain't gonna do the water? You need some water? No, I'm good. No water shots? Water okay. Shot. Lily gonna keep it real regardless, okay. all right? <laughs> Everybody else grab your shots. Your water. Gotcha. You're welcome. No did it, right? No did it. We're good, okay. <laughs> Y'all is right. so petty. Y'all repeat after me. <laughs> I promise to keep it real. I promise to keep it real. real. Tell y'all exactly how I feel. Tell y'all exactly, exactly how I feel. feel. I'm going to tell it like it is 100%. I'm going to tell it like it is 100%. 100%. So excuse me, can I be? So, so excuse me, can I be? Yo, y'all have officially been sworn in. I can dig it. What's up? What's up? Give him a little, little he pulled half his out on purpose. <laughs> it did waste on me. <laughs> Mm -hmm. You good? Well, you said you had a long day. So I did, but mm -mm. I should have did it. For I don't you. like really shots like that. <laughs> um, take a nun then. Woo! You want me to take over for a second? Yeah. Okay. Oh, why you catch your breath? Do your okay. Thing. So before we get started, don't be saying why I catch my breath like I'm tired. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm not. So before we get started, we gotta see if y'all got anything y'all want to vent about, anything y'all want to get off y'all chest, anything that's been bothering y'all. Don't have to be job related. Be anything. Traffic, Dallas, whatever. So we'll start with you, April. What you got? Mm, I'm looking off my chest. I mean, I've been going through it lately, so like, mm. just life. Hmm. My ex, all that. So my ex, my business, it's just been crashing all 2024. Mm. Mm. So I'm really like, you know, but I'm getting out of it now. What's but just that's staying that's positive. I've been going through. Gotcha. You need It'll a hug be all right. You good? No, I don't need no hug. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just making sure, you know. Last week probably, but today now. You good? Okay. <laughs> Just making sure. Just making sure. That's good. 
Joe, what you got? Yeah, I most definitely got something to say, man. <laughs> <laughs> You've been waiting on this all day. Save him for You've been waiting on it all day. <laughs> you know, I just want I just want to say, man, we got to start really pushing this black this black excellence, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. All of us got these gifts and these talents and the internet is the great equalizer, and I feel like a lot of us missing out on what we would really be doing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We got to start sticking together because we the most influential people on this planet. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it don't make sense that we can't come together, you know what I'm saying, at times. And that's what we need to be doing. That's what I've been feeling like. It's a lot going on in the world right now, and I feel like it's pushing us to come together, and we got all the excuses in the world as to why we shouldn't, but we need to do that. Absolutely. So, yeah, that's what I've been feeling Absolutely. Like. I'm with that. Yeah. I give you still, Lily. You got anything you want to vent about? I just look like I need to fit. I thought he was going there. You want, you want Cassie going there? Yeah, go ahead, Cassie. Cash. You got anything you got to Everybody going through something. Yeah. Everybody yeah. going through something. So don't just think it's you. Everybody mm-hmm. going through something. Mm-hmm. Um, stay positive, stay focused, and uh, look on the bright side of everything. Mm-hmm. And uh, it ain't going to always be good, but we got to make the best out of what we're doing. For sure, mm-hmm. for sure. Yeah, for sure. All right, all right. So I think I'm actually going to piggyback off of Joe because Mm -hmm. I just came back from Atlanta and it's so much black excellence there. Like, Mm. it's insane. And I just really want that for the Dallas culture. I'm like, dang, it's not like you ain't got to knock on other people's door to see can I get this building because you knocking on the door and it's a face that looks like yours. Mm -hmm. They own the buildings, they own everything so i was just really inspired while like being there and mm-hmm. stuff because i used to not be a fan right of atlanta right. like it's just it's too almost much. too black <laughs> yeah. i think yeah. when I you, as you continue atlanta. to grow and see it shifts your perspective and you're like dang that's really y'all so really far. are doing it that's mm-hmm. cool. Wakanda, everywhere yeah. it is yeah. it is, yeah, sure. it is. Yeah, Wakanda, yeah, so yeah definitely good point um sis what you got i don't have a vent but i do have a question and i had an argument this morning about it mm-hmm. is cheesecake a cake now think about it before <laughs> like you I'm even really thinking, think about like, the ingredients and how you buying it. Is it yeah, okay? I, I wouldn't consider it a cake. It's a pie, it's like, not a cake. When I think cake, I think like cake a, has like a, like a bread. Like yeah. So what makes a cake a cake? Like so, how do you take it? Is it not a cake? It's called cheesecake. See, where do you get this question from? Somebody asked me this morning, <laughs> and we argued for thirty minutes. It's cheesecake. Because for me, I, cheese, if it comes with pie I crust, and I go in the aisle and buy it in the pie, case. it would be pie. The texture, right. the pie texture, texture. Because you yeah. need the graham cracker right. crust at the bottom. Right, for sure. Hey, look here, man. I just, <laughs> it just, we, we a month. I just needed somebody you, else so. to. I mean, I just. So it would be cheese pie, not cheese not cake. Cheese I cake. mean, that's this is. There's no right answer, but I just wanted to know this. It's a dessert. Do you like it? I love it. It's a dessert. Hence, That's why I haven't been no issue. icing on it. It's no icing. Okay. It's so it's a pie. I, I agree okay. with that. I don't think it's a But no, in real time, a uh, event for me. I don't really have an event. <laughs> Honestly, I'm just kind of over the. Um, it's hard. I think the whole Diddy thing is becoming a mockery. Um, with social media yeah. and it's like I get the legal stuff of it and I was a big advocate of him like if, if you did something wrong, you should definitely be held accountable. Um, yeah. But now it's turning into like a hotline. 200 people it's like 30 years ago i was at a club it's like i mean what are we doing you know what i'm saying it's becoming like it's gonna take that man millions of dollars just to fight off people that's not even probably they've never even met him you know what i'm saying that's just to me it's just crazy how the world allows anything to go it's becoming almost disgraceful now it's almost like not pity him but it's like now you know in this in to caveat that I've been in a lot of different parties and events, and I know what women will do to get in certain doors. Mm-hmm. And I just feel like let him let him have his day in court because a lot of this shit is I ain't gonna say deserved, but right. a lot of these women walk through doors knowing you think you want something, then when you get over there, you be like, oh, that ain't what I wanted. Okay, right. but you over here, hmm. right? You so yourself. when you yeah, yeah. when everything that glitter ain't go, sometimes you stay at home or you go when they set a party over you leave. Hmm. But some people do anything to stay. <laughs> so that's just my that's thoughts. True. So I got a question for <laughs> that's you. My though. Man. Mm-hmm. Did you make a post about him saying that he need to go to jail and do all that? And so Absolutely. Now, so now you on his side? No, I said <laughs> anything legal. I feel like he should get his day in court too. So the Boost. I made a post about Boosie saying that Boos, uh, that um, Diddy is locked up for what every other mm-hmm. rapper does. Mm-hmm. Right. Almost insinuating that it was okay of what had happened. Mm-hmm. I don't agree with that statement. And I think any man that has violated somebody should be held accountable. What I don't think is on the civil side of things that all these people from 30 years ago can come back and say, yeah, remember that day we were at the club, girl? And did he let us go in the section? I don't remember what happened that night. He drugged me. 
Like, so you want some of the heat turned off of him, basically? No, it's it's, 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 it's becoming to me. It's becoming a shit show. It's like you. Really it's becoming it now. You got a lawyer from Houston representing 120 women, like 120. Like I get it, but in Houston, where, where, where he was never. When was he in Houston? Like, like what is really happening? Like, <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it, it, some of these people ain't never. Met, they like, oh, call a hotline. It's a 1 800 number. If you've ever met Diddy and he's bothered you before, call us and let us <laughs> vet out your story to see how true it is. Like, come on, what are we doing? I ain't gonna lie, I want some of that money too. I'm gonna That's what I'm saying. I pick up the phone and call You know what? I was in New York last year and I remember. I'm not gonna say that hold you like I, I feel what you're talking about because hey, look, money, money involved. <laughs> and when I was in the streets, I always used to say, when somebody do something to you, you can't control how they respond. Right. It's no limit to his karma. That's true. He take every hit that come. He's a monster. Point blank. Period. That's Whatever true. come with that, take that hit. You've yeah. been you've been serving yeah. it out for years. Been doing yeah. it for so long. That's true. Though. Yeah. Take that on the chin. Yeah. Yeah. That's very true. But y'all don't think some <laughs> of that is uh tearing down the black man? No. None of it. He did it. Yeah, he gonna get his karma. He it should, was never built. He should get his karma for everything he done. All the wrong he done, he should get his karma, right? right. It was never built. He built it on my, on being evil. How can we? Call, okay. How can how, how we calling that awesome. a black man that was uh, built? Oh, you. you're right. All right. If he built it but you don't perception. think that they do that to the black man more than they would do it to a white man? Yeah, we know the world we know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But it don't justify us doing wrong. No, exactly. That's right. what I'm saying. It's a caveat they just, for that. They, just, they, right. just, they, they were just okay. talking about today. Going, the white man going to get theirs, too. They going to get their karma, but it's not going to be so publicized as how right. it is. Yeah, right. because yeah. one, the yeah. culture yeah. has a field day on somebody's like, downfall, yeah. mm-hmm. and I think right. that that's yeah. 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 disgusting. That's the messed up part. Mm-hmm. It is. Because can you, other than TMZ, can you name one white? blog site like Shade Room? Right, and they get the news out and they keep <laughs> it rolling. Know. You never right. know what happened. You have to really go yeah. search mm-hmm. to see mm-hmm. what happened to the person. Did they get in trouble? Did they go... Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. they go Shade you Room, pop under the rug, but in <laughs> no, our culture, right. it's very different because yeah. people are on continuously yeah. speaking on it. Right. And it's just interesting because I hope you, nobody else has a bad day. Mm. <laughs> That's because like, if you had real. a bad day, you yeah. know, like, or you, you um, fall on hard times and it's the focal point. Everybody has a opinion on it and all of that. I think that it's that's how people handle their business yeah. in the court. Yeah, like, right. it's that's why, what I'm saying. Why does everybody yeah. have anything? And it's the black about. media that keeps kind of focusing on, on it. Yeah. It's, it's not really the most influential yeah. in, in, in every yeah. shape or They're going to make us examples. Yeah. Of course. Either way. Mm-hmm. You know, what, you what I think, I just want to know the facts because there's so many different things coming up, but we won't know the facts until later on. So many baby oils. That too. Yeah. And baby oil is the driest that. oil. <laughs> That's just in my head. Can't understand why he wanted that. Oh, and not the baby I feel oil. Like drugs that too, though, man. I feel like all celebrities buy stuff in bulk, man. My man just had a thousand bottles of baby oil. Oh, man. I bet that they, they We're not going to bring they Costco no more because what they did say was they don't sell baby oil. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't sure he had a thousand packets of mayonnaise in there. I bet he had right. plenty of things. Right. Right. He got a bunch of kids, though, right? Not to judge the family. You know, he probably was using it for that, but he probably bought everything in bulk. Not for sure. So with the um, with with everything moving forward, I wish everybody well. That that was a victim truly. I just in my head now can't try to figure out who is in these damn tapes that's gonna fuck up the community. There's a lot of nerves. Cause I know it's there. a lot of hard dudes it's, it's that's whoever, in there. That, whoever is in there, some people nervous. Nervous. Get my bag. That's yeah. <laughs> and then okay, but the last thing, the author that did the book, they mm-hmm. officially took yeah, the yeah. book down off shelves after he sold all these copies, became a bestseller. After he did all these, and they're like, well, where did you get the story? He's like, I just got lucky. And I don't know how much of this is true, but it's good. And now he sold all these copies. And I'm like, is it, it, it shouldn't be that. And then he had all, though, he had Justin Bieber, Usher, Jay-Z, Will Smith. He had all these people's names in it, and none of them have even, like, tweeted. They haven't even That's commented. Really- like yeah, no, don't do that, or that. don't don't say that about me. Like it's like w- nobody's gonna say nothing, or is everybody scared? Everybody yeah. scared. I think everybody knows. Yeah, I think everybody <laughs> we'll knows. Find out, Chris Brown. Fifty, the only one. one. Like I ain't going. Yeah. Uh, and Dr. Dre was ice cream. Ice cream. Yeah, yeah, ice cream. They didn't go. Cat Williams. Yeah, Cat Williams. You got to tell Diddy no. Fifty million. He said I turned down fifty million several times. I said. But oh, okay, sure. so everybody ain't gonna turn down that money though. No, no. everybody not. Everybody everybody that's what I'm saying. Some money. people gonna go yeah. willingly and yeah, then get mad man. when it's when it's day. Everybody started to get their payout. It's like, oh well, me too. Yeah, but you, you was there. Too. You knew you was what you was there for. Right. So, but anyway, <laughs> um, we are gonna see how this all play out. But moving forward, we have a great yeah. episode today. Um, it's not a coincidence that we're all here, and it's three women and three men. It's not by chance. 
Um, this is very intentional. <laughs> and uh, we started a conversation about dating um, in 2024. Mm -hmm. um, just about, I think it kind of started with a post that I did. And I just said, men, I can't remember the last time I went on a date date. Right. Um, and I meant like an intentional date that was like planned. Hey, meet me here. Or I'm going to pick you up. You know, and it was a real just... date. And it wasn't <laughs> just a, hey, come through. I'm going to see you in a second. What you doing tonight? It wasn't one of those type of things. It was just right. a real intentional date with the intention of building something. Right. Um, right. And a lot of people DM me and was like, man, don't do that no more. And a lot of men, we do that, but y'all don't want us type of men. Y'all <laughs> want the da 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 da. So I agree. And, and to a fact, because I was like, he was like, I done asked you several times. I'm like, yep, swipe, nope. Well, like, see, see, exactly. So that is true. You Some, can't say he didn't try. Yeah, so see. so the man that we think we want really don't be the one we want, but then the one that we want don't be the one that we want. Grass not always It's greener. not greener. <laughs> okay, so dating, where my bone? Where my bone? You ready? Where my bone? You ready to jump right into it? <laughs> Man, that just said a whole lot about women man, right there. Oh, we what they thought, want. But look, they don't know what they <laughs> that, just, that, that just scared me. We're going to let the men talk first. We're going to tell y'all about that. Mm -hmm. That alone mm -hmm. just scared me. You just That's said, you crazy. I don't speak for every woman. You said a whole lot. I don't speak for every woman. Man, look. I do not speak for every woman. We got Miss Lily and we got Miss April. Mm. I just the speak way, for the me. Faces they make and they is that I know that yeah, the, the, the common man that, that has not been my experience. Oh, okay. See, I'm not saying nothing. They were quiet. I know. Get them out So, Danny, when's the last time you been on a date? Yesterday. No. Bye. When's the last time you been on a date? Okay, so how? Um. Yeah. I mean, I. I only entertain intentional people, so I think our experiences definitely shape our reality. Mm -hmm. um, certain things just, I think people take issue with, like, oh, you think you're all that. Yes, I do think I'm all that. <laughs> and yes, I do not tolerate certain things. And yes, I will not entertain things that are beneath me. That's mm. how I treat myself. Mm -hmm. That's how I treat other people. Like, I build other people up and everything else. But no, I'm not going to have a low-quality experience. Mm. She said, a low, low quality. quality. Right. Yeah. I kind of touched my spirit like a little bit. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I like yeah, that. I, 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 I like that. that. When's the last time you took a woman on a date? <laughs> mm, last year. Intentional date. Intentional date last yeah. year. What last happened? Year. Just turned out to be friends. Okay. <laughs> Joe, when's the last time he went on a date? Yo, last month. Intentional. Reservation and all. You made yeah. reservation to where? Uh, it's called uh, the Wicked Butcher downtown. Okay, and how was that? Beautiful. How was her? Was she receptive? Planned the day it? before that. It was at least once a month reservations. So we do that. That's all I was trying to let you know. We do that. Okay, what happens? <laughs> <laughs> you know, we, we are still, still some solid. What you ones mean? What happened? Door open and everything. Get dressed. Okay. Yeah, we don't do all that. And yeah. is that your woman? That's part of the question. Ooh. <laughs> is that your Look, woman? bro, don't get in trouble. Don't, don't, get, don't in get in trouble. Without it. I mean, because I want to know, like, when you're doing <laughs> it's, this, it's, it's, are you it's, dating with the intention of her becoming your woman, or is she already your woman? It's a different conversation. I, it's, it's both ways. It started that way. It was going to finish that way. Okay. I started out intentionally dating, okay. you know what I'm saying, going okay. on dates. Uh, but that, kind of, that situation where we're speaking on now is complicated. It was a year. Okay. So it's, it's, it's complicated now. Okay. In the beginning, I started out that way, too. With the intention? I have a show. Okay. Yeah. So when men want to, they will? Yeah. Okay. For the one he want? Yeah. Well, Absolutely. 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 <laughs> Dub, we know you got a boo thing. Why you got to say it like that? Because yeah. <laughs> I know her. Yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I do, for sure. No, nah, we, we always going on little dates. You got Little keep, dates. I, I say little dates because it's more about spending time with each other. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, like, we'll find something to do, whether it's go out to eat, do something fun, or whatever. Right, but right. once you get in a relationship, you got to continue to date. Mm. So a lot of people forget to do that. Yeah. Because and then they wonder where the problems come. Right. Because you got to continue to date that person, continue to get to know them. Right. People change every day. They so do. So you want to, as long as you got the open communication, y'all continue to date. Okay. Good. So with me and mine, yeah, we <laughs> we pretty much dating <laughs> still. So. Miss April. Oh so, yeah. Yeah. When's the last time you went on a real date? Mm. About a month ago. How was it? It was cool until I got something to my phone. Mm. What'd you get to your phone? Mm. No, was it through the DM or you got a direct? See, like, this is where it always comes from. Okay. Mm. From, a, from a girl. Mm. Yes, from the other supply. Oh. Ooh. Okay. And what happened? What'd she say? Not the port. What I did want to see? Pictures of him? What pictures? It's just, just stuff I didn't want to see. Okay. And how did you, so was that y'all, that wasn't y'all first date though? No. No, no, no. Okay, okay. Mm -mm. Okay, so it didn't go. 
Well, Mm-mm. okay. Not yeah. after the fact. Not after the fact. That's a, that's a, okay. That's another topic. I'm gonna get to that. So, okay. so like, since everybody pretty much said like within like the last month or so. No, not me. Like, is Going it? Like, I said it last, like, you said last year. Everybody so said. Is it more like just intentional? Like you haven't just found that person that's worth continuing to continuing to date and get to know, or is it just like you get that first vibe like off that first date? Like, yeah, you got potential, but you miss I'm lying. Or, I'm lying. Okay. I went on a date earlier this year. To, it was like a fun, I already kind of knew him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Went to the bowling alley on some chill. Yeah, yeah. Bowling alley, yeah, on some yeah. chill vibes though. Okay. But I ain't, I ain't seen it since though. Was like, it something like you or was it just like a mutual thing? Like the communication just kind of stopped. It didn't click. Okay. Mm-hmm. Trying to go out just to see. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's see if it goes like, somewhere. See if I got the conversation you. was. Got you. It, it, it gotta be vibing. That's why I was yeah. like, dude, most people know that that first date. Like, <laughs> Okay. No. Except you, of course. No, I know. I'm no, no, listen. I'm talking to myself now. So I'm, <laughs> I'm just, I'm the exception to this. Let me just keep moving. All right. First question. Anybody can answer this? These are random topics that we got from people, places, or things. Okay. Um, sleeping together on the first night. Is this good for women if you want longevity? Ooh, give me my drink. <laughs> I got my Look, you asked for this. <laughs> I'm not gonna comment. That's for me. I mean, everybody go on. That's I come in real fast. Uh, one of my partners slept with a girl the first night, and that's his wife to this day. Mm-hmm. So I like it. It works you never differently know. for you. Yeah, yeah everybody everybody my experience is different. Like. Yeah. He, he he knew that before he done it. Mm-hmm. That's yeah, what I think. Yeah, you already. Know. Yeah, sometimes you know yeah. right when you, you see know. a person that that's your person. But but okay, with so, so, so from a woman perspective, even if you know, do you think it's not a good idea to hold out just because men are more pursuers and like if you like if it's nothing to really pursue after the first date does it kind of like sizzle down or because I've already kind of conquered um even though you know in your mind like I think a woman knows instantly if she wants to sleep with a man like yeah. within five ten minutes yeah. um but I think the whole point of holding out is a little bit more like mental than it is like not knowing if they're gonna vibe it's more like I just can't come off like I'm just that easy because he's gonna think I do with everybody. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's their I like. Mean, it's when it's when the phone, everybody doing it. But everybody. is that good? But it, but it go back to what I mean, April said. It's a vibe. So it, it just depends on the vibe. If the vibe right, everybody it's, vibing. It's, it's up. It's up. It's up. I ain't gonna lie. If I smash the first night, ninety-five percent of the time, I ain't feeling wifey though. Just keeping it in the book. Just because of the one time? I mean, you just don't because know of the first though. time? Just because I I be out. And I know the percentage of the females that's letting niggas smash the first night, I kind of know what type. I got a question. I don't think that's true. I got a question, though. You don't know. What if the woman thinking the same way? Why is it that you saying you wouldn't? What if she saying, I smashed him on the first night? Oh, I wouldn't deal with him, no. But I need you to respect yourself because sometimes I don't have enough self-respect, right? Mm -hmm. Do you you, you communicate that? No, I ain't trying to do all that talking in the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so, I ain't gonna respect like, you if you sleep with me. So both of y'all could be laying there saying it's over after this. I smashed. He just ain't met the right person. Even, that's, that's not even reality. Yeah. Like, I think that yeah, you. No, I think that. Y- of course, it's fun to play those little games, but the role of a woman and the role of a man is what it is. Mm-hmm. You can't say, I know that we're in a different day and time, and women want to say, oh, well, I had you too. What if it's a woman? What if it's a woman who went on and done it, and that ain't really what she wanted to do? But in her mind, she knew I'm tapped out after this because he pursued me on the first night. I ain't trying to be around with question. nobody that ain't know what they trying to do. Straight nah, up, just me. Wife, how, how to wife you, up. How can you nah, know? How, how, how do you know what? Because I don't been in a situation where months later where she was like, I really wouldn't. You know what I'm saying? But we, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, she said that out of respect was gone. And she's just covering herself. You think so? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I that's think, very I unfortunate. Think, I, think, I, think, I think that that's the, the, very unfortunate because women feel sometimes like, oh, I'm going to kill the vibe or he's not going to like right. me or I'm not right. this. But to all the women, like, you do not owe anybody yourself. That is such a sacred space. Like, there is no vibe that you can kill from a man who actually respects you right. for you to yeah. say that I want to wait to give you access to my body. That is... Yeah. And I hate that. That's a reality. Like it you is. legit. And there's a lot like, of women. Oh, there's gonna a lot think of women I'm that are scared this. to. Maybe not scared to want to think. Yeah. Clink, clink. <laughs> <laughs> but there's women that are scared no. to even bring up like, like where's the rubber? They like there, there are women. I'm not that's, being, that's I, and I was like yeah, that when I was younger, like in co- like like college age. Mm-hmm. I would be like, it's like the awkwardest question, but like. 
Like, do you have a rubber? Like, I mean, how do you stop this and say that? But it's almost like, when you're like, well, it's kind of weird to like say it, but it's like, well, then why don't you have one? Then I'm thinking like, damn, you do this with everybody. So it's like, it's so many thought processes. Going back to my question, can you lose respect for the man? You do. And so that was. um, What you mean? Can can a woman say to herself, like, how many times he done did this? I had to me a few years ago. I've done it, but how many, how, how you know she ain't saying, I ain't doing this no more. I don't know. I mean, we done it. I crossed that line, but no. Nah. No, I did that. I, I had that happen a few years ago. That's what I'm saying. Because he didn't use it. He didn't. Whatever. I got home. That's on me, too, because he didn't use no rubber. I don't hear these conversations. But Just I was like, like damn. Do you, like, you normally not use rubbers? Like, then he like. Who like, all took a risk? Who, who all just. Everybody everybody done rolled it out. I will say though, every guy that I've ever everybody slept with on the first night, I ended up in a relationship. Not even the three guys that I have slept with on the first night, we all ended up I ended up in a real relationship. I'll say this, me. So I got lucky on that piece. I never had like a guy like, you know what I'm saying? Like not you know what I'm saying? Like hit and then I didn't ever see him again. My middle child came from somebody I had a yeah. Me personally, I know I know who I'm treating as a jump off. I know who I'm yeah. trying to pursue. Right. Yeah. You kind of know I'm just based off. Yeah, I know. Me. I know even wow, if she let me smash on that first night, I'm still I'm I'm there with you. Right. You. It is what it I means. know. Right. I, I think know. You get a gauge on yeah. a person's vibe too. Yeah. You, you can tell when a woman don't do it all the time. I think. I would think. I probably do it back oh, probably two, maybe two times. You got that third time. I'm probably gonna like fade away. You know what I'm like Jordan. Like Jordan. Like like well, I'm, I'm, I'm like gonna stay like this. So I won't be there like a bitch. Then they ain't never hit me no more. I'm gonna hit you back. Right, right. I'm gonna give you a new time. time. You know. But, but only the soul of the song she gave you something the first night? Say what? Solely on that? Or just, what if you're really connected with her? You still in your mind about what you're I'm only really connected with somebody I really know. I'm not really connected with somebody I met at the club. You know. No, I'm she's saying? not a one night stand. She's right? just she let you on the first date. Y'all have been talking. Y'all yeah. been gauging your temperature. Not a one night stand. Okay, I'm talking about you've been gauging each other's temperature. Y'all been kind of courting on the phone. Right. And the first night, y'all ends up being intimate. And the first time I took her out. On a physical date, you did. Same. But y'all was vibing, and you still vibing. So you basically went from dinner and but a you, time. But you didn't just right? meet her today. To you just I didn't meet her at the club. No, <laughs> not a one night stand. Yes, you've been talking. Right, look. It's different I'm gonna give her about three times. I'm gonna stick around a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you talking about? You know, and then Can't if it ain't nothing, <laughs> if it ain't nothing, I can't stand so it. I got to ask you this. So, so the women you didn't smash on the first night, are these the women you pursued? That's on the question. first date? Yes, the ones that didn't let me smash. Damn, I might be talking too much. The ones that didn't let me smash the first night, the ones Did I you try them? Yeah, oh. hell yeah, I tried. <laughs> <laughs> but, it just, yeah. but the ones that said no. But why did you try? The respect level. Did y'all find that disrespectful? Why was I trying to smash? I do find that disrespectful. I found it weird. Let me, let me come I found out it weird talking to you. You, you want to do the first, <laughs> make the first move? Let me, let me make the first make move. Make the first move. A lot of yeah. females I met in the club oh, for like four minutes. Let me make the first move. Yeah, I tried. What you mean? I don't kind of lost respect if I tried and she didn't. Because I feel like... Say what? I'm going to explain to you. What is happening here? No, no, no. Going back, going back, to, going back to the post earlier. Because there's a lot of women, you'll go on the first day for somebody who ain't worth a quarter. But then you run across a decent dude, you want to... Play You know crazy. what I'm saying? But then I'm knowing your history because we done kicked it. So in my mind, I'm like, ah, oh, she finna try to play me monkey. But then I'm the one you'll you a run over, do this too, do that too. I agree. But to them... So now nah, I lost respect for you. Nah, I ain't finna let you run over me anyway. But I do think women. I do think women. <laughs> I will say. I do think women have two sets of rules. I do think women have two sets of rules. Come on with it. She has a set of rules for the man that she really don't want, mm-hmm. and she got a set of rules for the man, man she crazy for. Fact. And I have been like, I'm like, well, you need to. I need to plan a date. Uh, let me know when you're ready to plan a date. Or da, 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 da. I'm very, you know, or I won't respond, or I won't, you know, what I'm you saying, or you ain't call, or you you need to do this, this, and then the other guy that I'm like, uh, four, he ain't got to say nothing, but hey, and I'm, hey, what, what da, 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 da. you know so, what I'm saying? Yeah. So it is a difference. Oh, what, uh, what you doing? I uh, come through. I'm at home right now. <laughs> right. Like, like, you well, know what I'm saying? So right. there is two different right. rules. Like right. for, to me, I think when once a woman <laughs> gauges who she really mm-hmm. is feeling. There is two different standards. The I don't, I don't think lady. women keep the same standards across the board. I don't. But he's single, that's though, right? That's that's do that's you agree? You single? Yeah, I definitely yeah, agree. Saying. You do agree? You're single. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so I you agree with that? You do have two sets of I rules. 
I mean, by I choice. do agree <laughs> that there are different by standards choice. for. Di- I mean, you know, hey. people can get away with different <laughs> stuff depending on how you exactly. like Yeah, like how yeah. much they are desired. That's exactly. Crazy. Like, exactly. of course, you know. Either like yeah. <laughs> so you agree? It's two different sets of rules. I agree that that does exist. Oh, yes. Yes. They'll set the bar for certain yes. ones. Yes. 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 They just gonna go. Yeah. That's insane. No, 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 but see, but that's the I don't know. Like my, from my perspective, it's not about making a person perform tricks and jump through hoops and right. stuff like that. It's more of a discovery period because, like, um, I think it was last year when I started to say, you know, I want to kind of give people a chance that I wouldn't necessarily off top give you a chance. Mm. Mm. So, therefore, there's more to that's discover. It. There's more to discover there to me like okay well, let's I gotta, I try mean, to do this nah, and try to do this what is the type that you normally, normally wouldn't give the chance yeah. um for me it's just a thing that mm. either it is or it ain't <laughs> no you know but what, what I'm the term is so, it is right See, Come that, on, with it. Important you know, that. So that's like, like say for instance if I looked at the history of dating there is not a necessarily a pattern Oh, per se, a, it gotta be something. Other than, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm saying like there's literally not like a thing. I'm like, oh, because one is not looks, tall, it's not one money, light, not. one slim, one whatever. It's not any of that. Mindset is consistent, very ambitious. So you might be a sapio. Say, so you're into the the very the intelligent, things. very yeah. ambitious. Those two things are that's a okay. big thing. To so me. yeah, it's not. Physical. But uh, <laughs> you gotta love your mama. That's the things that they had in common. But say for instance, if somebody is just like, I just don't feel it, but they're so nice. Um, mm-hmm. maybe the good, the good it might be like is. trying to there see. Is. No, no. The good guys finish last. There it is. No, 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 <laughs> no. Because the other guys are nice as well. Mm-hmm. It's just a oh. thing. Again, either it is or it ain't. Like you know, like how you meet somebody and you it's know like, if you guys mm-hmm. have more to it, and you know if you just kind of like yeah. have a try. Yeah. 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 I mean, I gotta be inspired by the guy. Yeah, yeah. like he has not like me. none of my stuff. None of my dating stuff is ever like surface level stuff. Like that simple stuff, I don't waste time with. Like if you're not it 100, percent I'm not. Gonna try to make it if you could be it. Yeah. So y'all feel <laughs> you like, like, like men that like open the doors and do stuff like yeah, sometimes roses and yeah, open the door to you the said car. Do we like it? <laughs> no, not. Look at him looking. Cash, how you feel about that, Cash? No, I'm not. I'm, we, I'm we, not even gonna start we, that. We had that discussion before. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. like it looks stuff right, like right, that, right. like open the door. Okay, so roses. you mean like you talking about the door that we're we going in date. or the car door? Look, we can date every however much you want to go out. We can find stuff to go do. You know, we can we can go out, we can chill, but some of that stuff get it gets old. What's on me? Mm-hmm. Oh, you just couldn't, you just wanted to put I just grabbed one. one. <laughs> <laughs> um, do men with success get to bend the rules more? Yes. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Diddy, <laughs> prime example. Keep going. Yeah. 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 Men with more money yeah. do get better different rules. They yeah. do. Because it, say it's not true. Well, yeah. What makes them have the different rules? Just it because the same. It's not the same. They, you, they can pretty much do whatever they want because they got the bread, pretty much. Not even that. It's just the fact that his mindset or mentality. Men with more success, women with more success get to bend the rules a little bit because mm-hmm. they mentality. Yeah. Okay. Whoever got the most success, we talking about in life, they mentality on a whole different level, right? So they gonna know certain things that they make probably just ain't gonna understand. Gotcha. So they have to bend the rules a little bit because they know what the hell they talking about if they successful. So what if you get a, a woman that's successful, man that's successful? They gonna be like, straight together. They keep bending the rules, or they no? They gonna be gonna straight work. together. Mm-hmm. The okay. rules gonna work out. Most men don't want successful women that are successful. Let's keep going. Cal. They don't. Mm. Right, we got to go back and forth on that. <laughs> <laughs> That's an open and shut. Oh, you got it, bro. You saying mo- you, are you saying majority of men don't want women who are successful? Name your name your rich guys that you know that got rich wives. Nah. They didn't make rich. Name them. That they, they didn't. They didn't rich. make them rich. They got them at why they was wealthy, and they put them together. And we're not talking about Beyonce and Jay Z. So let's cancel them. Talk about regular people. We're gonna pick true. the ones who didn't do it. We ain't gonna, we talk gonna about pick the one that did it. We ain't gonna talk about LeBron, Steph. <laughs> them women that. was not rich. Them women was high school sweethearts. I'm talking about rich they women. Oh, you saying they, they black? Hard to be an honest. Black, right. exactly. Now look what That's happened. What you, you see what I'm saying? We don't yes. see them. We don't. We, we just don't have the examples. I'm asking. We, we got. Every, we got examples. examples. I think that's kind of to go to the root of that. I think uh, what you were discussing earlier. People want to feel needed mm. as well. Now, you do get people who abuse that level of success. If you're dating somebody who is for sale, 
then of course they can bend the rules and that mm-hmm. person is at whatever you say goes goes because <laughs> right. yeah yeah honestly because like when we were talking about <laughs> earlier like yeah. can you are you for sale can you oh. be bought <laughs> for me that's not a thing yeah. like you got to come with character you can't yeah. buy right. me into right. being quiet and sit down and you but have if i that come character. in and i change your life you have a different due diligence to me now right right so that's what i think you have to look at the dynamic of you know the relationship to kind of understand what is going on if a man feels like she doesn't need me for anything I think that's a very difficult space to be in just like you were saying earlier it's a difficult space for even women to be in like she don't need me for nothing so I don't think men like to feel it's a conversation yeah, I don't think men like feeling think, not needed in that space no nah, he just ain't learn how to be needed in, in he he's lacking where where to be a need because right. he only because mm-hmm. most men only feel like they're because yeah, yeah. 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 right because yeah. I've been with somebody that didn't have a lot of money I had the most money but he catered me in every other yeah. way mm-hmm. supported mm-hmm. my business mm-hmm. my kids mm-hmm. and everything so mm-hmm. it was kind of like a median he understood he understood yeah. Yeah. and how did that go it went well. But then I got tired. <laughs> you got tired. That's my hooks. Okay. Okay. Like, I'm gonna say, tell me about the real. I'm gonna give you a couple of years, but goddamn. Yes. <laughs> but um, uh, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Baby, you, you know like, what I'm talking about. I don't swipe April, too many cards. April, do you feel like ultimately that kind of puts things out of balance? It what? do, but it did. But he was very. I mean, like towards my business, he yeah. got me up here with my business. With his help of it, just using his abilities. Yes, okay. but it ran out. Yes. It did because I got tired. <laughs> yes, that's what I'm saying. It's I don't even know that that's that 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 balance of energies, but yeah. I got tired of the inconsistency, like with, as far as it's fun. Yeah. Okay. It was so there got, mentally, physically. Right. It's only so many haircuts I'm going to pay for before I start sunning you. Run my bad water I don't give a damn. But I need more. This is what it is. Years after I'm going to give you a chance. I'm going to give you a chance after chance, but... I'm just trying to figure out, like, what part of it you got tired of? Like, was it just, like, he wasn't Not trying to be... Not being able to be a woman. No, that, I'm just saying. Like, was it the hustle? What's so crazy? What's so crazy? What's so crazy? I think that that okay. can be so the same thing both ways. Like, even as a man. Yeah. Okay, I got you. Yeah. Okay. As a man who is successful, I got you. after okay. some time, I know you get tired of feeling like you have a child. Okay. Like, you don't want to feel like you have... I don't think that... I don't that's think right. that I don't think that yes. it, even with the tables turned, this, you don't want to feel like you yeah. have a child. Like I was, I have like a that. friend. Okay. Like he, he, he can more than he can more than provide fully for his partner. You. And he said, yeah, I just got him like, dang, you ain't got nothing to do. You ain't got nowhere to go. I think as a woman, you have to find you got to find something. After he didn't pay for so many courses, he didn't buy you equipment. You want to be a photographer, makeup. You ain't did nothing. Yeah, like you ride the wave, baby. You ride the wave. I think that's why some women like bonds, though, or so to speak, bonds, because if a dude don't. He hustling, right? But he ain't bringing home, he ain't getting but two, three, four, five hundred dollars a week, right? And he would be considered, okay, of course a bum, right? A week. <laughs> yeah, oh, listen, 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 listen. Are you selling? Right? No, listen, listen. I'm going he somewhere with this. Okay. He's class. a super bum, but he's <laughs> still pulling it. females. He still got this woman that's with him, riding with him, right? Mm-hmm. She don't know where she want to go. Her vision is through him because at least he's doing something in the beginning. Okay. Right, so a woman gonna support you in the beginning if you're trying to hustle and do yeah, something, absolutely. right? But I think we're off. She gonna get tired of that. Like she got to, you know, that. like God yeah. damn, this ain't went nowhere. <laughs> like I she is doing. gonna move around, you know. Right. Yeah. She, well, I'm gonna give the best I ain't gonna just leave you because yeah, there's a time limit on right. there's right. there's a time limit on financial build, stability build on the world for sure. But <laughs> there you go. Down, you want to do something. So no, before you got tired, did y'all have a conversation? Like we did you say, hey, okay, mm-hmm. this, I'm just asking, just want to make sure. You know, like, every every, every first of the month you start having that motherfucker. So <laughs> what you um you know? What you got maybe what you say about what was supposed to go on last week? Yeah, so I'm not building birds. Right. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm not. Thank you. Okay, I'm not going right. He didn't have nothing when he met here. He was just a benefit to my business. So you, so you seen opportunity in him? I did. Juice the mighty love. So you, <laughs> but he's so crazy about me. Where he's losing opportunity in himself. He, he just want to catch the mighty love. Juice the mighty love. Damn, we ain't talking about April. It's all about you sometimes. It's all about April eight. We ain't shit, man. 
You already know. You know. I know. Yeah, you know. I'm giving it to you. No, that's you. But, you know. Mm, that's another call. Uh, Just get time. I guess five years. I, I can't give no more than five. I'm reading gotcha. this. Is you it are. my question to answer? Everybody can answer. You can answer. Okay. Is feel. social media the reason for so many failed relationships at this day and age? That's my question. Um, <laughs> yeah. What Cash was saying about the perception that you have all these different options, I think, is detrimental to a person who is, like, not focused mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and doesn't know any better. Like, to me, that is the silliest thing ever in life mm-hmm. to think, like, literally, I can spin my DM request box like Wheel of Fortune. If I walked around like, oh, I got all these people. Right. Like, nobody in there is probably, I don't know who in there. It could be. The last three Don't people I know, they met their husband on. Right, Indian right, right. Ones. You can meet, you can meet. I mean, I don't know how people oh, pop yeah. out. You know, sometimes people just pop out and y'all end up mm-hmm. <laughs> the rest of the history. Mm-hmm. But that's a, that is such a false sense of reality. And once you realize, like, social media is, like, highlights real. You went on their page, you thought they had something. They ain't, <laughs> got they ain't talking about nothing. So well, I not think even that's, real. It's a whole fake person. Yeah, it's a whole, it's a whole different thing. It's a whole thing. robot. Whole it's a whole robot. Right. But this thing says so many failed relationships. Bringing back the question that Joe had about, like, why are we waiting so long? I think statistically it's saying that our waiting is proven to be beneficial because we've been staying married. Mm, longer. So the divorce yeah. rates are going down. Yeah, it was a really funny moment. My mom was like, you are not focused. You need to get married and this, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I'm not kidding, y'all. Like, it no, was mom, like, you put your mom and dad are together. My dad, my mom, my why, parents are why, married. Why it focus like, on the statistic, though, and not yourself? It was like, ching. Mm-hmm. <laughs> People are waiting longer to get, I'm not playing, it came on the news. Mm-hmm. They are getting, waiting longer, mm-hmm. but it, you know, like, we are staying married. For me, it's about God's timing. I can't, as a woman, ever, all I can do is do, like, the self-work mm-hmm. and focus on being the best person that you want to sit at the table right. with mm-hmm. and then everything comes together and then you know everything everything is coming hmm. together so anybody else want to chime in on social media social media i mean so, social media is, is most definitely a problem i feel like uh me as an influencer um uh, it's most definitely been a problem in my relationship mm-hmm. but it ain't been me it's been what it created an insecurity because people have access they wonder right. if I'm moving that like I got options. Oh, okay. Mm, yeah. okay. Mm. I agree with I got you. That's it's understandable. Yeah. yeah. And there's no way to control that. It's nothing you can do. You can't you can block whoever, you can not comment, you yeah. can not and then so my job if let's say for instance, if it's a woman who's been following me, let's say she's attractive. Mm-hmm. You know, and she been engaged with my content, I'm not I'm going to engage. Right. Because that helps me get paid. Right. You know what I'm saying? It ain't. It's it ain't shit that I didn't buy. She got to know what she's coming into with you. Right. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. She, she got to buy a drop of bags for 45 yeah. days. Yeah. Straight. She got to understand. I done tried yeah. to tone it down, but then when my brand slow down, mm. it's got to make sense what I'm sacrificing for then. Right. Right. Because right. I'm willing to make the sacrifice, yeah. right. but it's got to make sense right. as to what, sense. where we going. Because yeah. the only way I'm shutting that off, and if it's, it's messing with my bag, it's got to make sense where we're going. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. That makes sense. Hmm. Yeah. Co-parenting. Where do you draw the line with the B D B M? How close is too close? So co-parenting with, with the baby daddy, baby mamas. How close is too? I made this post on Facebook. I seen that the other day that I, I was talking to a guy <laughs> and. Him and his baby mom just appear to be way too close to me, mm-hmm. um, in my opinion. And the kids are way too old. Mm-hmm. So okay. I, I consider. <laughs> way, way too I'm old. saying like no, no, no. Oh, these no, these girls are in college. Oh, okay, so, they so um, oh, I'm, I feel like everybody <laughs> has their own phone at this point. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> you know, I don't see a reason to really keep it. You know. It's one or two times. Leave that alone, please. Yeah. No. Leave it alone, please. It's nothing to talk. It's up. No. The first, I mean, when I noticed it on the first, it was our first encounter. And when I noticed it on the first encounter, I'm like, okay. And I'm like, maybe I'm, you know, because I really haven't dealt with a lot of, you know, men that, like, I haven't been in that situation a lot, I'll say that. So I was like, okay, let me try this again. Let me just, maybe I'm tripping. And another little situation happened. And subconsciously, he was like, you know what she said? I'm like, she talked to she a lot. You know what I'm saying? And um, <laughs> and she mind. called while we was here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then, then what did the kids call? Yeah. You know? And so um, <laughs> it just wasn't my thing. And, uh, <laughs> you know, I'm going to get my insecure because I know maybe how my baby daddy, you know, like I just want to end today. The there's a woman 
<laughs> between the baby daddy and baby mama, somebody still want their family, in my opinion, I- unless you're both taken and you're both moved on and you're both happy. But in my mind, if there are some single people moving around, there is still always a desire that your family would work or that it could work or that it can. Right. Mm, and so true. that feeling alone kind of bothers me because I feel like I think if I call my baby daddy and be like, hey, let's go ahead and do this. He'd be like, all right, let's go. And I know that he deal with women. So I'm like, well, well how would they, f-? you know what I'm saying? I know, yeah. but I'm not going to flex like that because I don't want that right, right now. You right. know what I'm saying? So it's, it, I just feel like I, in reverse, it was the same thing. Like if she called and say she wants you, then that's where you're going. I feel like I'm playing second mm. field to somebody that's on, on, on her time. Mm. No, that's not true. You definitely That's not true, though. <laughs> okay, that's well, not true. Why is it? Um, <laughs> some, some niggas do that just to make sure they baby mama in place. They have to do that, make them feel like they want it, just to make sure they can see their kids. I don't, I don't want these kids 20. Yeah, they should know. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, they yeah, should know. Yeah, 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 they want each other. They want each other. Yeah, they want each other. Yeah, you still, still trying to work it out. Right. You still fucking around. Yeah, nah, yeah, nah. Y'all empty nesters and y'all ain't fucking every now and then. I know what they mean. Yeah, definitely fucking. Yeah, titty right now. I'm a two pro family for the baby mama, baby daddy stuff because I'd be trying to convince you. I'm like, what? What's wrong with her? She's always coming there with her. I've had the conversation with my baby daddy before. I'm like, out of three women, one of them should work. Date. I didn't. I didn't want my family. You don't want to want a man with a with a kid? Where are you gonna find him, at, girl? Oh, that's all I ever really? dated. A man with without kids. They've been locked man up. Without no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that's my first question when I meet it's a man actually, over thirty. It's actually not. I don't know. I don't know why that's been like my experience. And my dad was actually talking to me about that. He's like, you know, you really be. You be a cool little stepmom. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I love children and stuff, but I don't prefer for you to have multiple households to. Yeah, and I also take issue with if you have like multiple children in multiple households, I have a problem with that because I don't understand why you didn't have a problem with creating so many broken homes. Mm. Okay, that's a whole other conversation. Mm -hmm. Were you gonna say something? Nah, I said I didn't know. I didn't necessarily want my family back, but you know, I missed. I did Mm -hmm. ten years, so (laughs) I most definitely felt like the the time she needed me when she called, like I did. A lot, cause I felt like I missed out on being able to do it. But I remember the girl I was dealing with at the time. She was like, "You gotta quit that. That's over with." Mm. At some point, you don't, you know what I'm saying? You don't made up. You don't made that. up for your losses. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I ain't. Necessarily. She thought I wanted her back too, though. Yeah. Passwords and sharing locations. Is that too much? Uh, is that too much in trust in a relationship? Sharing location. I don't. I wouldn't do that. I've never yeah. shared. Locations. I share my locations. Cause if we trust each other, if we trust each what what I'm hiding? Just, I mean, do you want my location for my safety or just to see where I'm at? Yes. Yeah. Oh, safety. Yeah, you got I, I bet. I bet <laughs> you're going to see if I'm safe. What you going to do? Pull you got to know. You got to know. It's a I just got to pull up on me. You know, it's another. I just like, I don't, I don't, have I don't, have my girl I don't see like a problem that, with your location. So, but so sure. all times, not if you trust. The that's what the, that's what the question says. Exactly. I'm saying like, but how do you initiate a conversation? Like, share your location with me. I think it's crazy that you checking it. Like how often you if if I'm why sharing not? my location why are you checking it like if Just I done told you where I'm go, if I done said if I done said where I'm going uh-huh. and we talking on the phone now nah, hear me hear it's me at the top of the text thread hear, though, hear, like, yeah hear me out, hear me <laughs> it, 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 it says yeah no, it, it says like no not where you at we're not gonna right check if you enough. tell us where you're going I, I just need it for a safety reason I need you to know where I'm I at, at all times. I just need you to tell me where you're going. Where you going, right? Yeah, that's where you're going. Yeah. Yeah. Just let me know, like, where you're going yeah. or whatever. Yeah, like, so the location. I'll share my location because I ain't against it, though. Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. passwords yeah. are yeah. because yeah. people can text you out the blue. What's and you be like, oh, I swear I don't talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where he came from. But see, he ain't been seeing shit for years. When a new update, you got to have your face ID to get to you. But normally, like, most women, like, when y'all go out sometimes and if y'all got a dude or whatever, y'all going to call him. Right. Oh, when y'all in the I'm car, getting ready to leave. Y'all getting out, like, y'all yeah. So there's no point in me checking. If you feel like you need to share, or if you feel like you need to share, share it. But you gotta. I wouldn't want to catch myself like, let me see where she at. Yeah. It might create a, a, a. That's issue. what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. I don't mind sharing it, but I don't want to catch myself like, where she at. <laughs> I you thought you said you were going to the store. And then I text you, where you uh, where you oh dang, I'm in. Now you feel like Not you got to explain yourself when yeah. right where you said you was at. Yeah, but the question is, it could go way. in a trusting relationship. That's the key word, trusting. Yeah, trust means you don't yeah, have yeah. It didn't say just show your location just off the rip. It said trusting relationship. Mm-hmm. And a trusting relationship is sharing location and passwords too much. 
Yeah. 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 But it, I'm talking about the key word was trust. If you, if you trust yeah. them, so yeah. it shouldn't be like what you said. No. No, I don't know why nobody would want people to pass Yeah. I was looking at like phones. We ain't doing nothing. If you want a password, I don't want you in my bank account. If you want a password, if you want somebody's password, I think that's like clearly indicative that you don't trust, trust the person. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. not even a matter yeah. of... Like, I don't want you reading my messages. I don't, do all I don't that, go through phones ever, baby. I, I think I went like 10, 15 years. I don't know how long. Not one of them. Like, literally, if you look for some shit, you will find some dumb shit. Baby. You be sitting there like, don't go through that group chat. That's what the info is. Yeah, but And people be looking for that one they're going through and see if they texting a woman. No, text Go through that one he texting his nigga. That's the one. That's the one. That's the one. Hey, I'm just being. I know you said that. They go both ways. Sharing, way, a lo- sharing a location yeah. should be the person <laughs> should initiate it on their own. I don't think you should ask hey, somebody. Yeah, see me on Have you yeah. on my location? Yeah, yeah. You gonna make one day? They gonna say like sure. Be like taking if I get I'm missed. Say, no, I, I only do that when I'm out of town. To my... If I'm out of town in a place <laughs> that I don't feel right. that I, you know that nobody would know where I'm at, I will share a location with somebody that I trust. I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna call and ask you where you at. What I feel like. You ain't gotta share your location. If you out of town, you know. But I'm gonna call and check on you anyway, so you ain't really got to share your Y'all ain't for me. And then when you don't, you I might feel like you're doing something goofy. Yeah. Because you're Y'all not looking. Yeah. Because then, and then with me, like, if you go on, say, like, if you have your girls there, y'all go to brunch, you yeah. go for three, four hours, I might text you, like, you good? Y'all having fun? Yeah. I'm going to leave it at that. Yeah. But other than that, When women text, are you good? Like, do women really want to know if they're good or we trying to figure out how fast they coming home? Like when like, woman be like, you good? I'm just checking to make sure y'all was good. Like, no, women really care. Y'all, y'all want to see. <laughs> yeah, that's the women really care. See, women have to learn like, how to be really silent. Want? You don't need to be texting him, Ali. Be silent. Because I'm, I'm going to ask, like, what do you really want? They don't like Ali. They don't like Ali. I'm just making sure you was good. And what you mean? I'm safe, nigga. Say what my Christian Nah, for sure. That's why I like it. It just depends on how long you're going or whatever. I just let people be now. Mm-mm. Is being cheated on by your partner reason enough to leave if they embody every other quality that you desire or need? It's a character. Okay. Cash, I want to hear what you got to say, Cash. I'm not leaving. You may cheat on me. I'm, I'm out. I'm with Cash. Yep. It's over. Yeah, it's we know you got I'm out. Cash, I was lie. barely here, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I'm waiting on uh, you to fuck up the with, I'm with Cash. I'm out. Let me add to it a little bit. That's I'm out. What if, what if you had cheated, cheated on. she just hadn't caught you, but you caught her? I'm going to deal with God with that. I got to deal with my karma with God with that. But you're not going to hurt still leaving, though. <laughs> yeah. Even if you didn't get caught, but you caught her, you leave. I got to deal with You ain't going to say, I got away Ooh. with it. <laughs> I'm a, I'll probably tell the truth. I'll probably tell her. You'll say you done it. What yeah, I'll probably tell her. And that one time. But does she still trust He going to go back. That's the thing. Good. You going to get some? Is it yeah. trust And she done called me 10 times. She done yeah. called you. And I called her once. <laughs> she done called me a lot of times. I called her once. Yeah. Then you going back. Don't do it, kids. They think we can't take what right, we right, They think right. we can't di- di- take say, what we did from them. Nah, nah. You right. 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 Don't you right. do that in here. If a woman cheat on you, you better like leave. Don't leave. You better leave. No. Man, she, she, hey, look. Why? Why? We just going to be friends. I we thought that I would never leave somebody that cheated on me. And I did leave. Stayed. I stayed. Yeah, I never gave him a chance. I never left did for you. But you go on now, right? Him in. It you go on now, right? Though y'all ain't together now, right? I'm not gonna say. I, I mean, <laughs> yeah, she she but did you still she trust him? I've never just left. I mean, him. things happen. No, but did you? That don't mean that's not your first sex because they fucked up. Now, once did you trust him? I believe if a woman cheat, that you need to leave. A man needs to leave. Why is it? Because women, 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 women. A woman, she's already tapped out. A woman will cheat because they ain't got no balls. She just fucking out with you. They ain't feelings, but they don't mean they want to leave. But a woman will fuck with a man. They might talk to him, give him a little conversation, entertain him a little bit, but if you fuck another nigga, oh, yeah. man. If a woman crazy. has slept with another man back. and she you has know. laid down. Nah, you get your lick back. I don't want to be Yeah, she is not doing it out of revenge. Trying to get their nah, lick I'm back. Good. It probably right started as revenge, but she she she's in her feelings by now. If she's a regular so woman. So y'all ain't never took a nigga back that cheated on you? Yes. Yeah. I ain't never left one. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm being honest, not for just solely cheating. They not, end up leaving, though. I'm saying it creates, I'm saying, that's what I'm like, going to say, cheating creates more problems. 
that's going to lead a, a, a kind of illusion. I think it matters how the cheating affects you. Like me, I'm too gone. logical because I would be gone. like, oh, you did not have your mom. You don't know no better. <laughs> but it's, it depends who <laughs> you cheated <laughs> with, though. That's hey, oh, like, yeah. thing, though. Earlier, oh, it's like now, now, now of it's course, now it's not like that. No, because at this big round, you just got to have better training. Yeah, you got to have better training. You just got to have better training. No, I'm saying, I've never just, I just never walked up, walked away, and my God said, I found out he cheated, and I just said, okay, bye, I'm leaving. Y'all no, it's it. never been that simple. It's always been a build up of shit after the cheating that we argue all the time. Now we're not happy. Now we blah. Now it goes into this thing to where it's like, this is <clears> not going to work. <throat> What's the most important quality you look for when dating somebody new? Is it financial status, looks, personality, or their mind? The mind? Mind. mind. The mind, for sure. What you do? The mind. The mind will create the financial and knowledge. Absolutely. It's the, where it's, the, it's the mind and the hustle for me. Like, when I say hustle, like, she got something going for herself. Okay. To where, like, I can look at her and look at her as motivation. So how do you get to the uh, mind without looking at something else? How do you get to know her, to even know where her mind's at? Which What what, what draws you to a, a woman? A lot of conversation. What draws you to a person? Because we say the mind, it's a, but then it's, we on this app on lot, social media, and the stage don't let you see the mind. Hmm. It's got to be in conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So conversation yeah. for me. Yeah. The, the, the bigger yeah. for sure. If the first phone call is weird, I'm done. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm out. And ain't no texting. <laughs> it, it go back to what we were talking about talk. Let me hear what you sound like. Like that, no, first, just, that first date. Nine times out of ten, y'all probably going to get something to eat. Y'all going to go do something where y'all have to talk. So right then, you going to know. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, I know where mine is. You can pinpoint on the first You think you can pinpoint on the first date? Yeah. Mm-mm. To where you to where her data to where yeah, 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 you ask the right question, people go paint a false. They gonna give you a you whole. Ask, you well, ask well, the right well, question. I can't say everybody. You ask the right question. I can't say everybody gonna give you somebody false, but sometimes you might run across somebody that's just gonna paint somebody false and ask you what you like what you like yeah, to do yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, what yeah, type yeah, of people yeah, yeah. 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 like, you ask them daddy? certain yeah. questions <laughs> then you'll know yeah. you know what I'm saying like yeah. especially when you go to asking about how they grew up <laughs> like that dynamic school? like that'll yeah, tell you a lot about the so especially with women because a lot of women come from like the broken home so if you asking those types of men do too both yeah it go both ways but I'm like if you asking those type of questions on that first date that'll let you know like Potentially, what you may be dealing with. And right? two, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can read through the bullshit, too, right? Man. You, right. You, 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 you wouldn't, you wouldn't, you wouldn't deal with it. Deal, deal with what? what? If you, if you saw a person was wearing a mask, would you still say to yourself, "Let me"? No, I can't deal with it. Don't come to me with no mask on, man. I'm too <laughs> I, I need you to be you. Yeah, yeah. 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 Be you, be I feel you. you. Just be how you is. What if, what if, what if yeah. that person ain't never experienced somebody exp- open them up? You, I, if, if, why not tell her I see you, and you ain't even got to do that. Cause if I go mm, to break that'll be die, a sexy conversation. That's a sexy conversation, though. Yeah, but if I go to because she it's a lot of like, yeah, she'll be more. Us. If it's a man a broke me down like that, baby, you ain't gotta do all that with me. Yeah, yeah but I feel like <laughs> I feel <laughs> like <laughs> it's a lot of black men who done did it, and a woman ain't never told him, and he repeating the cycle. Tell me, I see you. Like you ain't got, like mm. it ain't about your money. It ain't about you know what I'm saying. Like you ain't even, we ain't let's kill that right here. Cause we in a generation where fake is the new real. Yeah, that's, that's hard. True. That's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. Just go. Let's 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 get to the meat of it and just say, look, this is who I am. This is, like you ain't even gotta lie. You ain't gotta. You know what I'm saying? What's your, your credit? You ain't gotta lie about that. You gotta lie about the finance. <laughs> because if you lie for, if, if you if, if you <laughs> did, it, if, do here. if you did, <laughs> if you <laughs> dealing with it, if, 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 if you if you know him, you dealing with that. Go on and put that on the table because we can start fixing that right now. Because by the time I figured out you lied, then it's like, nah, we can't do nothing. Right. Let's, let, right. Where you at? I always yeah. say but you're going to be able to come do. back from that lie. You already know this person was going to present you with a lie. Mm-hmm. So It's not really a lie because I... I I, I, no, I it's interview a lot of people. It, to me, in interviewing, <laughs> no, in interviewing is not a lie. You put on your best face. And Good the woman that I am portraying to be is who I can be some days. It is. I'm it's it's just not who I, I am it, Monday through Tuesday when Thursday. What, I get what you're saying, though. Yeah. You might get bonnet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Monday, yeah, yeah. Tuesday. Cool. Like, but I, if I give you but this on you, Friday, though. that's you know just a piece of me that I want you to see today because I don't, number one, I don't want to unveil everything. I don't who, need to. Who ain't came in a misrepresentation? In a, in that's a what day. I'm saying. So it's like an interview. I can't say, you lied. You know, if you lied on the application, you lied. But you might just sell yourself well. And maybe you ain't the best worker that you said you was going to be. But maybe I can still kind of mold you a little bit. But you have to give me that you because you're competing against other people. So you got to sell me something because I got 20 people after you coming in. And I need to figure out who's really vetted to be the best candidate. 
Right. So exactly. everybody's gonna give me a fake, so up to me, a false piece of something to make me see them in a certain light. Sure. No one's gonna come in vulnerable. Hey, my daddy wasn't there. My mama ain't shit. She was in prison. She gave me away. Yeah. Ain't no nigga yeah, gonna tell yeah, you yeah, that. Yeah. First like day. I don't even want to know that. I'm gonna be like, oh god, most, you got a lot of shit. Most, most of, most of, you know. I but then like, after third date, three, number four, five, six, I'm like, damn, you really? I was vibing. Like, sure. damn, it's crazy. Your story is interesting. Now mm-hmm. it's interesting versus a turn off. Yeah. So I think sometimes you do got to be slow to expose your true self to mm-hmm. people. I don't think so everybody deserves. So it's not deserve... saying it. So it's not saying it. <laughs> the same <laughs> as saying it and being fake about it. Lying about something like if oh, were you, oh my, both my parents things, are married. Though. Not That's saying lying. it and lying about it is two different. Okay, things. no, I'm just saying facading, meaning like you just not exposing <laughs> your whole hand. Mm-hmm. I that's might not what you tell you. Do. That's your what I'm saying. Your I might not tell not you that I've been all. broken before Listen, or that I've been divorced what or whatever. Like your intentions ain't even. Your intentions are nowhere near pure. You ain't putting on your. If you're best. just lying. That's yeah. That's what yeah, I'm saying. No. Yeah, no. You can't do Don't that. come and say you had a master's degree. And you ain't never been to school. You got you. Lying, yeah. right. But I'm saying is, just tell me <laughs> you had ten years of experience. Right. Find out allergies. Yeah. Don't just lie and say. But I just think I think more people. It's hard for people to be vulnerable, especially in black. In our culture, mm-hmm. I think we um, have all been so programmed mm-hmm. to, even from the when we were kids, like what stay well, what happens at Man, home, stay at home. You don't tell nobody what go on in this house. Like people, we have been programmed since kids not mm-hmm. to talk about our narrative and, and our problems and what's wrong with us. And you know what I'm saying? So you don't get a lot of people that are black that's gonna just sit down and be like, look, baby, I got a whole bunch of issues mm-hmm. right. and I'm dealing with it. I'm going to counseling, I'm going to therapy. I'm Me and my mom are not the best. You know what I'm saying? Every guy I've ever dealt with, him and his mom are not tight. Every Damn. guy that I've ever mm. had a real what? relationship with, oh, they're always got mama issues. That's, every that's, that's time. A problem, that's yeah. a big problem. Every <laughs> time. I'm like, man, that's, a, that's a similarity. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, it, but it's, it's a similarity. Say, say gotta go. I gotta go. After, if, if it's something with my mama. You know. That, but, that's, but, but that's one of the things. But I get a soft spot for it because I'm like, it's not, that's, not the, that's not the son problem. The I just had one up. big experience. I had I one know. big experience with that. And I think that if you haven't dealt with it, if you haven't really dealt with the issue, that you have with your That's mother, true. it's very hard to do to treat a woman. Like you can't treat because your respect level yeah, for women is hard not the same. If you haven't dealt with the issue, but I don't mean that he's not a good man. Right. No, he, he, he might be. No, a good that man don't mean that he's not a good man. But it's very hard to he don't respect women in the same level though. Find a man, that, and that's one of my favorite things. Like you treat your mama so good. I'm yeah. Just like ooh, my life about to be good. Yeah. <laughs> no. Treat me good. No, I think that that's, 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 that's one of the biggest things that I look for too. That your relationship with your mom. If it's a strained relationship and it's messed up and. What if it's I, the mama's fault though? Like the I, relationship messed up. What if it just got their head the boundary? What if it's mm-hmm. the mama's fault that the relationship messed up? Yes, I'm saying the mama's fault. Right. Is... I'm just saying, if yeah. you dealt with it, like say for instance, if the mama did some trifling stuff, you can't do nothing about that. It's yeah. not your fault. So he does, he but does have you dealt woman? with how that makes you feel and right. how that makes you view women? That's, that's the only thing I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, that I don't ex no group of people out. I said that when we broke up. I did. And tell your mom, I said, fuck her dumb ass because she the reason. Not for real, but I did. I think I said that once or twice. Um, because I do feel like that's a huge... A lot of men don't deal with that shit they need to deal with. Um, and a lot of women don't either, though. Like, you know, we don't. We do. Nah, for sure. But, but you know, oh, anyway, it's that's on, it's on a whole nother conversation. <laughs> oh, read this. I'm just trying to... How do you feel about not posting or posting your significant other on social media? Yeah, how y'all feel? It's bad for business. <laughs> it's bad for You're business. Quiet now. It's bad for business. business. Everybody not want to use business as bad. social media. Like business. I'm not posting. It's, you can. I business. can let it. I can let it be known I'm in a relationship and post you, but overdoing it, trying to show we it's bad for business. In my experience, mm-hmm. people get a. You know, I mean, it's a no for me. It's a no. Yeah. I don't put on post anybody but my husband. Me neither. You can't even get. I ain't no tattooed arm, hand. Ain't you no, ain't no shoes. Oh, I got a tattoo, but I ain't. The tattoo look different, but no. so <laughs> I don't post yeah. anything at all. I've you never done it. You ain't, you ain't posting nothing. I've never done it. You don't really care about it. I've never done it. I mean, that's because you know how when you go on trips with your person, you got to put a smiley face over there. Now that's tacky. I'm going to say, I'm like, babe, catch this picture for me. Yeah. I'm not going to post your body and not post your face. What's a red flag? A man should view that as a red flag. For me, not. I post? Yeah. What you mean? Uh, make, well, why? You just said it's bad if, for business. If, if, nah, I'm saying I'm saying I let it be known I'm kicking it with you. Yeah. I'm mm-hmm. saying I ain't gonna flood my page like mm-hmm. this. Oh, yeah. oh you're saying you're saying. sore, but I not know. just overkill. Yeah, yeah, birthday, birthday, right. birthday, maybe a birthday. Yeah, you don't know. Yeah, yeah. 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 Some yeah, we went on a special. We went on a little date or something. Yeah, you you know this here. Why is it a red flag? It'll be a red flag. 
I don't even want to say that. I don't even want to say that. I don't want the bitches in my DMs. That's why I ain't posting you. Right after that, it'd be 30 DMs coming in. But if you got a good dude, you ain't got to worry about that. If you if be scared that that man is a hoe. And they don't want to see it. They don't want to. They don't even want to fade it. You got a solid dude. You ain't got to worry. How you know he's solid? Till 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 it come out. He, if he doing what he's supposed to do. I ain't yeah, posting him. Yeah, I'm posting my no, wedding I'm pictures. Just, and I'm that's just saying it. though. You know. I'm gonna have a white gown. Not You're not gonna same. post up to. No, I'll what? post the ring. Yeah, I'll post the proposal. But not, but not him. The aesthetics. No. <laughs> but you are ready to drop the bag on no, you. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I understand, like, on a surface level, but if I want, I never posted anybody, and two, I never cheated on anybody ever in my life. Never did any cheating. of that. So, so whatever is insinuated, like, I think you have to know the character of a person. For mm. me, I never, until we are married, it is signed, sealed, and delivered. The internet, you can't scroll clean. People screenshot, they got it. I, I don't never want my husband to have to look at me with another man. Ever. Mm-hmm. Never. I. That's for me. Like, because we've all that. dated Yo, people, right? I respect that. Yeah, yeah. I just, to me, it's just not. And it's, why is it their business? Like, I it's don't not. know. I do not know the people that are on my page. Mm-hmm. Like, some yeah, of them, yeah. of yeah. course, they are coming to my business and all that. Great. They know. And mm-hmm. it's yeah. not like mm-hmm. you're a secret. That's what, that's, that's, that's why I was getting to the red flag. Going back to bro, yeah. when he was saying, uh, I, ain't what was bro. I can't remember what you were saying. But to know, I wouldn't deal with you not in pursuit of marriage. You would know that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If I'm on, you would, so why, it's going to look like it's a secret to me. Not say, I don't respect what you got going on, yeah. but a, a man in full pursuit like that, mm-hmm. you don't never, and you saying on the basis of, I wouldn't want my husband to, no, nah, I'm pursuing you to be that. You're trying to be mm. that. You be that person. Yeah, yeah. Why, yeah, that's my spot. why don't nobody yeah. know? Yeah. Who but knows nobody? You're saying social media. Yeah, on, on the, because that's the question. But my friends know you. You're with my family in my real life. The, so what are you the, the question here for? Are you here for social media? The question, the question is social media. I'm in the context. Yeah, right. So at that at that, at that, that point, if 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 I'm making you feel everything in, that I I could be the one because I done had at some point I done, we done had them kind of conversations. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. I don't I don't had them conversations with your family. Right. I had them conversations with your friends. Right. They know I'm there with you. We using the word love. What do you mean? I can't get a post on my birthday. Or I can't get a. Mm, you can't. I'm gonna view that like hold on. You got an option. That was the question. That was that was what you said. The option. It's gonna look like an option. Just, just a birthday, just a shot, just something that y'all don't <laughs> <see. laughs> if you ask you. Uh, bro, what you say? If you ask me for the post, that's not, no, if you ask me for the post, that's not an issue. When okay. you are with okay. your I'm person, not, not I don't the think the post, that there's post, anything, post. like, if, if you are my person, then what is there that I'm going to be like, oh, no, it's worth sacrificing my relationship because you want to be on my, I don't care that much. But for no. me on my own, just to willingly not go and post, to me, relationships are so sacred, and you need to protect the energy, you need to be mm-hmm. protective of that. Right. To me, it's all type of people. People send me people stuff all the time. That's there's an the energy That's around an you. Let me burn this stuff. That's an excuse. I don't need That's that. That's an excuse. Yeah. I don't want that is an excuse. It sounds good philosophical. That's an excuse. Because you bring your person around your friends. You bring your person around your family. Your person goes outside of you. You're saying a relationship is sacred. If a man going to make a choice to do something, it ain't going to have nothing to do with your social media. But if you I'm got 100,000 people watching you that you don't even mm-hmm. know, 95,000 of them, why do I need to post my personal I ain't saying you need to. I'm not saying you. I'll respect what you're saying. I'm saying what bro was saying, going back to the options. If I'm pursuing you as my woman, you know that. Why would you not? If that's what you want to do, cool. But it's going to make it look like you got an option. And Maya, as a man who pursuing you as a man. I think that that just, I mean, you have to, whatever, the entire experience together, I've just never had that. You ain't never had a man make you yeah, want to like him. That be an Let's issue. No, no, no. Because <laughs> no, I, no, I had no. to look up, I was like, damn, No, I, got, I have an <laughs> uh, arsenal full. Right. Like, I'm ready to fire. Once that wedding is done, yeah. we're ready <laughs> to fire off. Can I post you tonight? No, absolutely not. Like, to me, it's just a no. That's just, to me, it's equivalent to walking down the street or walking in the mall. Like, look, look at my man. Like, I don't understand what's the point in doing. My man, my man, my man. So basically, you don't need the okay from. The no, because social, social media, media doesn't. Too. Other than like partnerships, pay, you get, get partnerships sponsored to pay uh, to post things and get that doesn't hold any type of. 
Yeah. If you post, a, if you post, I've I've unfollowed plenty of women oh, once I seen they got a man. If you follow, if you posted a man who who got interest in you or been in your DM, he gonna unfollow. It's gonna when we talking in the context of social media, it's a lot that go into that conversation. You yeah. leaving options open in my mind. No, I, no, I didn't care. Anytime though. I follow you and you post your man, I unfollow. Out the muscle. I ain't gonna lie, boy. Out the muscle. Follow, women, women, Why it, was you pursuing her? No, no, it, I, I might have liked her. I might have like wanted to one thing. day. Like might have wanted to. Like I can't like look at somebody else's woman. Might have wanted to oh, one day. No. I think that oh, no. I just have a lot to do with that. I think that might not work with that space that's not holding any weight for me. No, I respect that though. No, I ain't trying to find nobody on social media no way. You know, I just don't follow because it's like, it's like, I'm following too many people anyway. I'm not following. I'm most definitely gonna follow women when they got me. Straight up. here. <laughs> Get them out of here. Yeah. Y'all say social media is so serious. Wow. I don't, yeah, I, don't, I don't even want to like, <laughs> well, when you're in a relationship like that, that it look like you're kicking, I don't even really want to be liking and being up on your post no more. That's all I don't respect the relationship like too. That but yeah, no. Yeah, 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 that's true. Yeah, yeah I don't even want to, you know what I'm saying? I don't like a friendly nigga that's always in somebody else's likes and comments yeah. either. Oh, that's a turn off. Ew. Ew. I'd be like, do you like everything? <laughs> 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 uh, it's giving, yeah. Are women more in love? Be selective. Are women more in love with the ideology of love and marriage more than the actual love itself? Yes. Yes. Why? Yes. What you explain? <laughs> we, we start watching fairy tales and princess stories as a kid. It's real. I was told. Like it could be real. I was told. Like I was told. Yeah. I have. I have. I have. What? I, and it may be the cause of the reason why I don't really find love, because we have in our mind what it looks like, what it feels like, what it's gonna be like, um, what he's gonna look like. In, in my head, I can like damn near as a you, you, you start. Warping your thinking to where it's supposed to be like this. Mm. So when you get a regular guy that doesn't fit that thing, it's like, no, my guy would be like this. And when I kiss him, it's gonna feel like that. And when he takes me in, he's gonna propose. It's gonna be everything. Is gonna, like when you when you think of like what we were taught as kids, mm. like Disney princesses, fairy tales, the enchanting land. Like I mean, like Barbie, Ken. You always just thought the love of being so pretty, yeah, and so amazing. And when it doesn't feel like that, it's like, this is not love. This is not what, because I think I've had several guys that loved me that I think I should have, I could have married. I've been engaged twice. But it didn't feel like what I thought love should feel like. Mm. And I don't know if even what I think love should feel like is really what love feels like. It's just, still, still right, still right now. now. Like, I, in my head all the time, I'd be like, should I just marry dude? <laughs> like, am I, did I miss my husband already? And, you know, you feel I, like you did? You just said you I did. don't know. <laughs> I don't know because these are, I think about, boy, because as I get older, I think about loyalty. I think about the things that a real husband would need to embody. And I'm like, damn, I had that in old dude. I did have that in that, but that didn't feel like what my ideal of what a boss couple or what a, what my life would look like. Hmm. And I think you can miss out on, on something real because of ideology of what it should too? be. I do. I think I'm more in love with the ideology than the actual reality. In the dress. In the dress. <laughs> and not the marriage. Yeah, I do agree with that. For the same reasons? Not for the same reasons. What's yours? Don't be bashful now. Come on, you you even been up here the whole show. Yeah, she Don't was be bashful now. <laughs> right. I know. Up here bashful. Um. <laughs> yeah, you some juice. <laughs> That's what happened to everything. She's like, we, we just. My bad. Let me let you answer the question. Um, I mean, just the. Um, Say that you engage just to see the proposal. I think that's the ideology of it. But you really don't be in love with the person. Mm, that's that's scary. the whole problem. That's the problem. You just right. want it. Just want it. Ooh. You just want to walk down there. And that's just because of the fairy tale, like what you've been told. How can, how, can a, how can, what would you say to the men who need to look, how, do, how can we see that? We need we need the insight before we, before we wipe y'all on the strength of you just wanted to look. How, how can a man know that? It ain't no way to know. No way to know. To know if a woman's in love with the idea. Yeah, I know the way. I think of, I think you can't really. Marry, I don't think you should marry a person until you go through something with them. Mm-hmm. That's, That's that. Right. The and I don't know. And I don't know. Shit, you gotta go through that. I don't know you if you gotta it's go through the chief phase. You got to. You got to. It, you gotta go through, it's, it's, it's a fa- oh, I'm sorry. It's a phase that has to take place. It don't have to be like. For me, you know, I like a little rough next every now and then. It's not prison all the time, the but <laughs> other things <laughs> that will that show thing. you, like you said, when you don't have money, um, maybe you're out of a job, maybe you got some issues with your baby mamas and kids, child support, um, 
if you're going through a, a tough emotional time and you're dealing with some things, I just think you have to see a, um, a woman has to see a man. A man needs to see a woman. Just pause. They said if you want to know a woman's character, she um, wait till she's at her highest. And when you want to see a man's character, wait till you want, want to see it when it's lowest. Mm -hmm. So I think men are more who they are when they're broke. Huh? They're who they are. I'm talking about you'll see their character. You'll see you'll see, see real the real deal. them. Real. You'll see if they abusive. Oh, you'll see if they I mean, because they're angry. Let me tell you something. When a man got money, let me tell you something. When a man got money, he gets to get whatever he wants. I think he's gonna He could get whatever female he wants. That ain't showing who more who he is. No, because he gonna no, no, no. What I'm saying is your character. If you don't have nothing, if you strip a man down to nothing, you're gonna see his attitude problems. You're gonna see who he blames. You gonna see if he's solid, if he got any hustle about himself? Man, that man gonna be cooking, cleaning, and doing anything he's supposed to be doing because he, he homeless. No, that's not true. <laughs> I done had some mean broke nah. niggas. Ah, uh, yeah? Nah, what? Nah, nah. gonna be sparking. Nigga mad, <laughs> angry? That's it. Broken meanness. Broken meanness. That's insane. That's insane. Where you mad at, what? bitch? You mad at me? I thought the broke dudes, the, no. the bums, the they the, they no. the ones they who the went. They got attitude. They, they up out here. I had broke niggas with attitude. The broke dudes is up. Sure. I had broken okay, attitude. They win it. They got all the great women. If you want to see what woman is, wait till she gets to the highest she can go. Do you and, feel and like y'all more in love with mm -hmm. the ideology too? No. Not for me. I only speak for myself. But you, would no. you, why not? I don't know. Just watching my parents' marriage, I just know it's not like all like you flowers and roses and fun times. Like it's definitely hard work. So you got to get somebody that you can work hard with. Yeah. Yeah. Go, back to to the go back to the upbringing. Yeah. yeah. But today, in today's age, it's all I never like said it. my relationship status. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. She's, she's, she's not, she's not posting a book. No, 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 no. But no, I've never, you know, like it's just, God's time. It's yeah, important. But when sure. girls begin proposed, so they say yes, even though they don't want to say yes. I say yes twice and then one. Huh? I've I did. Had that Both times. No. I've had that. They don't really yeah. want that's to say yes. That's mean to say no. Yeah, that's mean to say no. No, it's not. I can do that in front of people. You say yes. Yeah, I think it's proper to say yes. I think it's definitely proper to say yes in front of like. No, no, no. Or you just say no. Say no in front of everybody? Yeah. Or you just say no. No, you say no before we get up here. Man. No, because no, 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 that's what I'm saying. Man. That's humiliating and embarrassing. You're not going to say no in front of everybody. Now you be like, I'm going to talk to you when we get to the house. I'm not going to say no in front of everybody. I'm going to be like, yes, so we've been, really, I don't want to do this. So we've been having marriage <laughs> conversations, and you've been making me think that, no, and I do that. No, we have always had marriage conversations. Sometimes you've been having marriage conversations. I've been saying, uh-huh. I don't remember that situation. I've been saying, huh? That's crazy. I'd much rather have. That's what I've been saying. When you be talking about it, I'd be like, that's crazy. I'd much rather have told have her insane. tell me that's no insane. when I asked in front of everybody yeah. versus later on. Because later on, it was like, you feel stuck. I actually want to marry you. Like, I went through all this. I did this. I did that. Okay. And then you, you really didn't want to do it. What? Oh, somebody, somebody told I, you? I proposed my last relationship. Um, oh, I, whatever. I was engaged. Know this story. And what happened? I, I no. Tell us. The, the, my last relationship, I proposed. We was together three years. Mm. Um, we was engaged for... Seven, eight months. Mm -hmm. But in the midst of that seven or eight months, it was like she really didn't want to get married. Mm -hmm. And so when we finally had that uncomfortable conversation, she was like, and I asked, I was like, did you ever really want to marry me? And she was like, I did, but then I lost it. So it was like, so I was did like, so why, did, so I was like, why did you say yes? What? And she was just like, I didn't, everybody was there, it was the moment and so forth. Exactly. I was like, you could just it's over. It. on the cool. And that, that, that and we, word being cheated on. And we ended up, and we ended up. That is up, worse than being cheated on. And then immediately when y'all get home to say, no, don't let nobody be engaged to you for that long. Like, but, just say thing, no, because that's she humiliating. Sold, so that's so embarrassing. Like, I don't want to say she sold the dream, like, but no, we had conversations with me. So she did have conversations with you. We had plenty of conversations before I even got to Maybe it was somebody else. I never figured it out. The only time that I've ever didn't want to get married. You might well go and tell me no, but if I propose in this and them type of games, it's over anyway. That's why I was like, I rather. Yeah, we need to go. It is over. If it's a no to propose, I feel like I'm gonna I'm gonna be hurt, but I'm gonna thank God. I respect it though. Yeah, I respect it though. That's why I was like, I was and I told her that. Yeah, I'm gonna be hurt. I feel like you gotta be careful with y'all because y'all are getting hurt in the seventh grade and be still trying to be on the seventh grade. I was more hurt when she told me later, 
Versus my, my hurt would have been if she would have said no then. Because later I was like, damn, I did all that for nothing. No, she should have said it like a day later. Like she should have told you once y'all got by yourself. Not seven no, months. No, that's no, not what I'm saying. No, she was trying to figure it out. No, no, tell me why that, everybody is. Yeah. Why are you she, dying on your knees? No. Shaking, trying to get them words out. You want to no, be like, no, right. don't run it. I respect you. Can, you can play it off like, I'm going to tell all these people that was out here. They say shit. Nah, nah for real. Bitch, nah, I don't spend my dumb money hey. on this book. Don't tell me right there. It's going to be the same level of embarrassment Either when way. you say yes and then. Right. Oh, because, because, you know what, like, I had to go back and tell everybody we no longer it's together. We're not in. engaged. We this and we that. I'm going to save me, the, the, save me some money. On the real, time, though. Effort, oh, did you, did you know? Did you yeah. sense it? He felt it. That when you I proposed it. that I feel it? Yeah. Like she didn't want to. Her face no. had to show it. Because, nah. Because you had no sign. It was sign. in the moment. It was in the moment, like literally. Everything. Yeah, before, before you were proposed, you didn't feel it. Nah, because we had so many conversations. When I watched my video, y'all could tell the way I put the ring on. So it's, like, so it's like, almost like I proposed, <laughs> she said yes, and then it's like, even though we had been together at that point, like two and a half years, but at that point, Say her name, fam. Don't nobody need to see her. Yeah, nah, for real. You need to put The people that's close to me, the people that's close to me, they know what I'm talking about. Okay. You know what I, but I would say, but I, I am proud of but you. But I'm cool with her. But I'm, like, but I'm no glad problem. that you, you cool have uh, found love. But I bet you regret it. That's what's up. Because the I thing is, regretted. it was. I'm sure. glad it happened when it did because I learned more about myself like and I dove so much into her and like I lost myself in that relationship. Oh, so women do that like, all the time, right? And so do it happen? Lose they like, self. It, it hurt. Hey. I'm not gonna lie. I ain't even Keep going, fam. This ain't about them. No, this no, about yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what she's talking about. This, 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 this is our time. This is our time. I'm not gonna lie. I was hurt, but it taught me a lot about myself and what I will and to pay more attention to signs later on. Like I was single for some years before I got in my current relationship. So like now with my current relationship, we both came into it knowing what the end result will be. Making that one so of our problems again. That's more, tough. more of the work. So. For the rest of my would you propose again? Yeah, I would. Yeah, yeah. Because who I'm with now is that's that's what I'm saying. like. We know what the end result should be. That's what we pushing for. Two parts. That's what I'm talking about. So yeah, yeah. So we that's what that's what we pushing for. But that's why like I've been in that situation. So I would rather you say no than to tell me later. For sure. So that's just me. Because either way. You're going to be embarrassed either way. Well, I'm glad that you're opening up yourself so. to love again, though. Because yeah. most men, uh-huh. they get hurt, baby, they be butthurt. I'm not they <laughs> For a long time. I was outside for a minute. Men don't heal. But, what? what? No. No. Men don't no. heal at all. No. No. I met two guys that yeah. was yeah. in a seven, like, yeah. in a seventh grade. Yeah. This girl break my heart. I ain't never doing that again. Yeah. I'm like, what? 35? Because you get that like, everybody, every woman going to be the same. I ain't never Because I had this idea that I should date guys that's been divorced before. Because I feel like they had been through something. So I was like, they've experienced what? marriage. Say that again? That's, that's bad. Listen. Guys that's been divorced and don't no. mess with their mamas? No. Hey, <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, 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 Dior. They're not the same people. I'm hey, I really like mess with you, but you done said a lot of things, things today. <laughs> That's real suspect on the, you, the your level of toxic is way up here. Is it? It is, man. Asking you done said a few <laughs> things, man. They don't got no, their mamas pause. in their okay, life. They divorced. No, 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 no. Pause. They, that's <laughs> correct the episode. They, they still in love with their baby mamas. No. Hold on, man. <laughs> you got a certain standard you keep man, going what's going on? on? Switch it up. Stop. Switch it up. Okay. Let's, let's clear the air. <laughs> I said, I don't go for <laughs> men that have problems with their mama. <laughs> I said I've had a, a rep. I noticed a that a cycle of them don't have great. So maybe it's something that I embody that gives off mama. I don't know. But you ain't saying I, nah, I ain't doing that again. No, I am. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not. No, I don't desire that. I was saying like in my past, I noticed the the trend mm-hmm. that there was mommy issues. Okay. Okay. The second thing was, I said the guy that I just talked to recently, we only went on one date, and he was. I felt like the baby mom was too close. That was my first time encountering a baby mom. Um, since I was with my daughter's dad, and they didn't have issues with the, we didn't have issues like that. So that was my first time um, dealing with that, and I just noticed it out the rip, and I was like, no, nah, I'm good. Um, but no, what I'm talking about is I was like, I wanted a man that, cause me, I'm really into, I like older guys, truly, mm-hmm. that are a little more what's, what's, vetted. Let, let's get the like age. 40, let, let's maybe, get, like, like let us get the age. Like I mean, like not old, old, but I just like guys that are older than me. You like season. Okay. Season. Like guys that experience more <laughs> okay. than I have. This is my goal. She likes season, man. Yeah. And everybody watching this, I, I do want to say this. Y'all drop in the comment section if y'all disagree or agree that she done said a, a lot of toxic <laughs> Don't <laughs> even chime in on my fucking life because I don't want to argue with you in the comments and I will. You know, right. Um, but what I'm saying is a, a seasoned guy that's a little bit more experienced. And so what I noticed that when I was when I, with that age range, a lot of them have been married before or they've been divorced. But what I've noticed when I 
start talking to guys that have been divorced, they are kind of broken still. Mm -hmm. Even if they caused the divorce or if they was the reason that it initiated the divorce, mm -hmm. they still are like traumatized to where they don't really trust women. Uh, uh, uh wait, no, please. Never. Like, like, it's like very like, uh, uh, like marry the sign of marriage is oh, damn near more scary than a guy that has never been married. But in my mind, I thought they would just be more experienced. Like, oh, they've been there. They've messed up before. They get what it takes to be married. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. they maybe have learned more versus the men that run away from marriage that are maybe more scared to commit. That was mm -hmm. my thought process. Not for you, not for you. But it just, it just, hey, it's just like, I ain't never been that dude. You know, I don't know. I don't have a, that ain't my type. Yeah. But That's I just, not you. That's not what you go for. It's not <laughs> Yeah. It's not. I'm just going to start. Never mind. Don't worry about it. I don't think nobody can break my heart to the point of where I ain't open to love to, on that extent. I believe you got to be willing to feel anything and everything in order to find that person over and over again. Yeah. You got to yeah. be you got to be willing to be hurt. Right. Mm. I'm going in any situation on that. Knowing, hurt me, baby. Knowing I'm gonna, I'm giving my <laughs> all to a person that right. I'm giving my all to a person that could. That's me though. I believe in love every time. Yeah, I believe in that. My dad's talking. You get pissed off every time. No, <laughs> <laughs> be like, damn! I thought you was gonna be right, but um, anyway, yo, what y'all y'all got anything else? I'm good. I'm good. I want to. I, I got one more thing. When I said therapy, you you did say something in the. You was like, why is it? I ain't know if you meant you disagree with it or agree with it or it was just like too. No, nah, no, nah, because I've done therapy. Myself, okay, did so that. I'm not against it at all. Um, it works for some. It's, it don't work for others. Mm -hmm. But uh, you think therapy works for everybody? Nah, because a lot of people don't want to hear the truth about themselves. Ooh. Yeah. So, Ooh. Yeah, so, so it gets, so you know, the therapy, you, you gotta, gotta be willing. Yeah, to, I used to leave therapy. Mirror, you yeah, you gotta look at yourself in the mirror. So, like I, like I said, I've done it myself. So it could be beneficial so, if you do yeah, the work. Yeah, if you do, okay. and that's what that helped me with the healing process. Yeah. Ooh, we well, can't wait. So, okay. So yeah, no, I agree. It's only two questions left. We gotta ask these though, because this is good. Look, I produce about to have a whole heart attack. Hey, we can break it down into two parts. Should a woman be as stable as a man? Should either person require what they are not in a position to give? God damn, that's a good one. That's a good one. Mm. That's a good one. No, a woman shouldn't be in the same position as a man. And a woman should expect a man to provide more than what she can do. You know? Good so, answer. No, nah, I don't. I don't think Here, April, what you think? <laughs> April. April she ain't getting no more like goddamn it. tequila ever. Right. You know, you know, some juice and water <laughs> next time. Go both ways. I mean, it ain't. <laughs> both ways. Go both ways. Mm -hmm. You think a woman, a woman should not require nothing she can't do for herself? I mean, what she can't give him? Hmm. Do you believe in equal love? I what you think? I'm fifty fifty. I believe. I believe in equal love. I believe. Uh, you can know you dealing with somebody that. They shouldn't be requiring what they can't even give none of. You can't expect everything for nothing. Mm. I'm gonna expect you to be able to bring something to go on. Now, should you? What was the first question? Because I know it was. Uh, should you be the? Um, it's, it's maybe when you say stable, I'm guessing we're talking financial. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, nah, I'm I'm taking I'm talking mental, emotional. Oh, everything. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so talking, should a woman be a stable? Talk, okay, yeah, you should. You. Now I'm talking about I would round the board because you can't carry me emotionally. You can't cover me spiritually you can't you know what i'm saying like no, right you need to come that way absolutely at this big old age i ain't saying you all of us <laughs> all, all of us all of us have a level of broken you know what i'm saying right. Some level yeah, of sure. that's understandable right, right. we can we can work on them things together but yeah you 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 need to come yeah because i'm i'm coming that way why would why should i as a man expect I feel like she should give it back to you in a certain way. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? If the man providing more, that's cool, but she got to be able to do something. Mm -hmm. What's that? Um, mm -hmm. Just be just be my peace. Um, be my motivator, too, at mm -hmm. times when I'm going through something. Uh, be my support system. Absolutely. Um, be my rock. Mm -hmm. Tell me the truth. Yeah. I'm bullshitting, tell me the truth. Uh, Don't they gotta know. be stable to do that. Yeah. Yeah. But they have to be stable too. So now in between with that. They would have yeah. already okay. done the work on themselves. Okay. Yeah, right. you gotta be right. stable to do that. Because yeah. a bullshitter gonna call it another bullshitter. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? No, I agree. Cause if she ain't on that level seeing you go through like that, it's she gonna hurt you y'all gonna hurt each other just as much. Absolutely. Yeah, I think when y'all sit at the table, it should definitely be a feast. Mm. Like everything, for everybody sure. needs to bring stuff to the Something table to, to, for right. everybody to be full. Even if it's just there. a rose. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that you don't like. That yeah, don't bring like. some. <laughs> just bring, don't sit down and Don't just sit down. <laughs> Please. Like, so what are we eating? <laughs> um, the last one. Ooh, <laughs> this is um, Can you be submissive to a man that has less? 
No. No, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, agree. I know you've been yeah. say something real quick on You can't. But I, I mean, mean I, you, not you can. logically, you cannot. You, you can. can. You can. I don't. Yes. Look. Submit what? Submit what? That's what I'm saying. Submit what? Because submission literally, <laughs> literally means to go under this. Because they're less, they're sub- thinking of money. To submit. Which I'm thinking of right money when you say less. You talking about money? Okay, so when well, we that's what I'm saying. So we gotta we have to define right. if we're saying like financially mm-hmm. less or if we're talking about other things. But my thing is submission oh, literally means I submit to your mission. You are not leading if you are not leading I don't know like even with your situation before you said like you, it was at first but then it ran out because I think it's an imbalance of energies like it's not designed but I was to submissive you were submissive you, you were submissive, submissive while you was cutting the check yes Okay. Cause she knew he the one that held run and the then, check up. Exactly. Okay. Right. So, right. so, so then when you stop, he the one held my million views. So then when you okay, okay. So, so, yeah. so yeah. then when you stopped, when you got drained, why did you stop submitting? Cause the money because. ran out. Cause there was no money. But she did submit. But I submitted for but five. Submitted. I, I submitted for five years. She that did mean I gotta keep she on did. submitting. Okay. So you're only gonna submit for a certain time span. No, no, no. It wasn't that. It's just that I couldn't go no longer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That was I'm it. Just, I just think that ultimately it runs out. Of course, like a certain characteristic, certain men are going to come in and just be able to lead no matter what their financial situation Even with no is. Job. But if it's just That's like true. out of balance, ultimately you're going to just start looking at him like April did, like it ran out. But the woman got to let that man lead. Too. If you're like, baby, if I had a job, you know what it's I would do? It wasn't consistent. It just wasn't consistent. <laughs> what you say? I tried. Wait, what's the, what's the time you on what? You never know. You never know. Before you get fed. Before you you tied. I was probably like fed up at three years, years but I still God. gave him two years. I, I was I've been, been, been fed right, up. Right. I didn't yeah. Yeah. Five years. I've been I think, fed up. But I would say earlier, like in my twenties and stuff, I definitely did try that. You know, like I did, but I just think that ultimately, not even, no matter how much I try to make you feel like you are this, you are that, it was just so many insecurities that that caused. Like you started trying to control me in other ways because I have such a big leader personality. If you either can come in and lead that or you can't. Wait, you gotta be able to, I don't know. Like, I just don't think that, I just think it's out of order. It is. For sure. I don't know. If you're not leading, what are you submitting to? Mm-hmm. If I'm if I did the plan and I'm telling you where we're going or I'm the one leading this so ship, what I am I submitting to? to? That's Girl, nobody's ready for that conversation for some strange reason. <laughs> what are at what am I, I submitting the to? The fact that you have saying. a dick? <laughs> that is all you're saying. You're you know saying I mean. because you have a penis and you're a man that I should listen. If you don't have a plan and you don't have a budget and you don't have anything to tell me, you're saying simply because I am masculine and I'm a man, walk behind me. And I don't understand that why we should walk and crash into this fucking wall. Mm. I don't get it. And you can't make me understand. Help me, but don't get in front of me. Help me. But, now, okay. I'm most definitely, definitely going to crash out with you just because of the cat neither, though. I don't want you to crash out. No, I'm saying, I'm saying. I'm not asking you to submit. Because you, you're saying, what are, what are y'all submitting to? The the question needs to be reversed to an extent, too. What the woman no, the bring woman's it, not what asking bring you to submit. It. We're not asking the man to submit. Mm-mm. I ain't saying. I ain't saying. I ain't saying. I ain't saying. I don't want you to. I think we should I define. define. I think that is what's important in this question is to define what, what less is. Like you're saying, <laughs> can you submit to a man that has less what? Okay, <laughs> if he has, you can You can the leadership capabilities or leadership whatever. I think that I don't know. It can work. You just two people just have to be willing to, to come and make, make it work. work. Yeah. But it's out of order in my opinion. I don't know. <laughs> I, I think it's. I think it has so much to do with my. Daddy being so much the leader yeah. in the house that I could not imagine it's my mama trying to tell so him. I see my mama always being being the same person that I am. So then how? Yeah. So, so then okay. So when a man comes in and says, because I've had this conversation a couple of times, and when I say less, I don't mean like if I make two hundred, you make one hundred. Then oh my god, I make more than you. We're not talking right. about that because the reality is, it's just things are different. We might just do two different careers. But if I'm dating a teacher and he makes eighty thousand a year, and I'm in mortgage and banking, I make two hundred a year. Okay, we're clearly not financially at the same place. Yeah. But he also has a career path. He also has what he's doing. He's ambitious and he's on his own journey. So you don't have to have more than me in my bank account right. to lead me. No, it's just sometimes it just offsets like that, and we're not in the same career path. But what I'm saying is. 
a lot of times when I hear men talk about submission, they don't have a full out plan for their own life. Yeah. So when you come in, I think more men should focus on being prepared to lead a family than just wanting to date a woman and come in and, and intertwine in her world and come in and take over. I know too many men that move in with women. Mm -hmm. And I don't know yeah, a lot of women that dealing wrong, with. Though. I don't know. I, don't, I can't think of no yeah, women that I know that really move in with men. Yeah, so right. in my head, I'm like, well, damn! If all the men are moving in with women, it's gonna be hard to come into a home that got my name on the deed to tell me that you need me to submit to something when you came into <laughs> my establishment, yep. and right? The men gotta make sure they focus on keeping focus and staying on their mission and don't let no woman get them off track too. Right. You know? Sure. For sure. For sure. I, I I just think a lot of men, honestly, to what I see in today's society, yeah. I do think it's a kind of a known fact that women right now are thriving very well on a financial status. Um, I think we're kind of, you know, catapulting quicker than men in, in, in the black community. Um, and there's nothing against anybody. It's just what it was happening, you know, with, with numbers. But I feel like there are still men that can lead um, and that don't have more money, but they just have right. a natural leadership ability and they know they may have a plan. Like you said, they may just have a hell of a plan and they don't have money. But they got a hell of a plan to help you make money. It's like, well, shit, you ain't got no money, but goddamn, you can't pay for the brain that you got. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. they bring a lot to the table. I can not submit to that, but I think it's a lot of men that don't really have a full, if you ask them, hey, what's your five-year goal? They can't even tell you five months from now what life look like. So I'm not going to watch you crash me and my kids out while I submit just to say that I'm a submissive woman. I can't, I can't, I can't rock with that. You know what I'm saying? You have to show me a little bit for yeah. me to be like, okay, well, we're going to go ahead and follow your lead. <laughs> yeah, got to be saying, and you got to be ambitious. Yeah, That's yeah. why I said, I got a man that sure. don't inspire me, I couldn't deal with because if he just okay being complacent, he could never lead me because I'm always be ready to go. And he's going to be still, you know, we'll be we good. we good, right? No, we're not good. Like, I want to keep going. I want to thrive. You know what I'm saying? Like time, yeah, so <laughs> it's, I'll get, I'll probably leave. So. <laughs> that's, that's the episode. That makes sense. That makes sense. That's that the episode. Well, now, before we go, we know we got a whole author over here, so we gotta talk about your book. We, like, Tell us what, what the crumbs is before yes, we get keep up out the of here. Crumbs. Um, it's just a little. It's actually just a small piece of my opinion of kind of like shaping your reality. I strongly believe that if we focus on what God has planned for us and don't get caught up in all the stuff that doesn't actually matter mm. that we end up with a more fulfilling like situation so my book only calls you to like one of the things is uh, I think chapter two is wash your hands before you go to the table that means doing the self work looking mm. at yourself because the uh, question is like why are so many good catches single like are you actually a good catch or do you just I think that people are so <laughs> self-righteous and so full of themselves okay, that so everybody feel like okay. you're that you're all that you're this and that <laughs> when you actually haven't done the self-work so it challenges you to write down things like write down your red flags because you can then see how silly they are like you're talking about tall yeah a uh, ma'am because it could be short we're running out of time so <laughs> <laughs> so it's just it just challenges you to take a look uh within and uh we've been number one in relationships on okay Amazon. Best seller sure. everyone. yes sure. um okay. a few times and it's very short like i didn't say more than god gave me permission to say in mm. this but i do have more to say so i'll probably be dropping like a deluxe edition so yeah. y'all make sure y'all so can get more it's just really just to call people to just hold yourself to a higher standard mm -hmm. um so it's called keep the crumbs on amazon yes it Make is. sure y'all tap in and get that. You should give me a copy because we've proven I was toxic I over this um, segment. Right so, um, <laughs> <laughs> I, maybe I need to wash my hands. I think we're at that place. It's time to it, wash. Is the book based on like your experiences or you took a collective of like friends, family, and what you, or what you've seen? Um, in my business, I have so many women that I kind of just collect uh, <laughs> thoughts and stuff and also stuff that I challenge myself to do like on my own journey because I've just been very, very intentional with like Trying to make sure they like, get it right. Sure you, make feel sure you get it right. <laughs> yeah, so you. before we go, make everybody we're gonna go kind of through and just make sure you let people know like where they can follow you on on Instagram or whatever platform you're most active on, and maybe like one thing you got going on that you they can follow or be stay tuned and tap into. You can start with April. Well, my Facebook page is April Wren, uh, but my Instagram page is more of my dancing page, which is Elegant Princess Diamonds. So y'all can follow that. Or you can follow my Facebook page, which is April Red. And you guys, how many new dance teams you just started? I just started four new dance teams. I have one in Dallas, 
find out Fort Worth, and then we'll be going to Shreveport, Louisiana in January. Cut up there. Yeah. 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 My daughter danced with her dance team, and they, that is true. I was going to say, I've <laughs> seen true. some videos, and you be on them, but it bring out the best of them. So no, well, she ain't even in the You played it safe today, baby, because she's normally yelling and screaming. Oh, like, she be on them. I'm very, very tough. I'm very, very tough, because I want them to get prepared for the future, so... I'm not the nicest person, but best believe when they get to where they need to get to, they're going to definitely thank me for that. Yeah. So. My daughter said she was rude when she first met me. <laughs> she's I like, what's wrong with her? <laughs> Why is she so angry? <laughs> I'm like, Ariel is just part of the dance world. She's like, but she's mad. What's she mad for? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Three, four, five years old, Coach April is getting on you. So yeah. Yeah. it's just making them, you know. We we'll appreciate you. Y'all make sure y'all follow sure, Elegant Princess sure. Diamonds and April Wren. Mm-hmm. Joe T, you got so much going on. What you got? <laughs> man, I'm going to keep it simple, though, man. Just go follow me on YouTube because that's where they paying the most money. So uh-huh. if you ain't got a YouTube channel, go get you a YouTube channel. <laughs> 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 but look, now, nah, just type in my name, Joe Baker. Everything going to pop up on me. Joe Baker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, but go to YouTube. Go Joe subscribe Baker. to YouTube. He calling out everybody. Okay. Yeah. Everybody. <laughs> and what's the name of your new movie? <laughs> Traps. Traps. Okay. Six episode series. And it's on? Tube and Amazon Prime. Oh, yeah, we're ready to start season two, too. Yeah, oh, can I get? Can I be in it? Man, come on, quick, quick. Yeah. Yeah. You're yeah. a liar. Yeah. Can I be in it? We need we need the episode. We need the episode. We can't out here. Yeah, we need it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna be. I'm like want to get my debut like role. Let's do that. Okay, sure. perfect. For sure. <laughs> Doug, where can I find you? Yeah, I'm I'm BTP on everything. That's it. It's simple. I'm be your truth. Same on everything. L U I underscore Z A N A. New music on the way. Be personal training. Flower Mile next gym. Fitness, tap in with you. Bitch, I'm, I'm no quick. Okay. Right. Damn. We call it. Oh, you can find me on Instagram at Lily1908 or Body by Lee. And you can get my book at keepthecrumbs.com. It's going to take you to Amazon. Also, I am up for best trainer in Dallas again this oh, year. Oh, on. So um, I'm on Dallas Weekly and some other big uh, or something like that. But Dallas Weekly, y'all, if y'all we'll pass by them votes, go on, gotcha. click on by them. We and we're nominated right now for Cosign Magazine for, for sure. the top podcast yeah. on the city. Yeah, all so all make sure y'all can tap in. For sure. And um, is that it? That's all I got. That's it. That's all I got. Well, thank y'all for tuning <laughs> in to another episode. This may be a one or two part <laughs> series. We don't really know how long we've been talking. Um, but thank um, Thank y'all so much for coming, sharing your insight Appreciate Appreciate on love y'all. life. I wish all of y'all much love, happiness. I will go get some therapy. <laughs> and um, hopefully we can have this conversation a year from now. We all got rings different, on. Different. And, you know, planning weddings. And, you know, I'm for excited. Sure. Sure. This is the year of love. This so, is. <laughs> if it's not now, then when? <laughs> for sure. Y'all stay tuned. Go follow us, underscore, can I vent on Instagram. Make sure you tap into the YouTube, can I vent podcast. Continue to follow us. Uh, stay tuned for next episode. Thank you.